He no, I just, I just thought the first episode was so average and just kind of boring. I, it Admittedly, up. yeah, I told him the first episode was really eh. And then, like, the, I would even say the few episodes after that, it took a yeah. while to really get it into the bit, mix. Yeah. So, like, yeah. the first few episodes, I was, he's like, Sasha was telling me, he's like, yo, do I need to get into this? And I'm like, honestly, bro, like, nah. And then literally, probably, like, two episodes after that, I'm just like, every week, like, Sasha, you got to. <laughs> and he's just like, I can't trust you, man. Like, you told me it was crap. I'm like, I was wrong. I'm sorry. It's yeah, amazing. Man. everyone welcome to the anime gizka podcast week seven of the An- winter 2021 season on this show we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week i'm your host david and joining me today we have stren hello everyone next up we have who hello hello and, and last we have justin, justin. <laughs> yo yo really quick apologies to everybody we have uh, some uh, lagging issues so i'm we have two different like it was a recordings going on right now just in case if somebody drops yeah so we have recovery yeah. going on <laughs> um Yes, basically. <laughs> All right. And then before we get started, uh, we have we're gonna give shout outs to a bunch of uh, comments that we that people did last week. So thanks, guys. Want to yeah. take it to your friend? Yeah. Um, well, to start off with Albert Albert Rodriguez, uh, code number twelve, Dark Sonic Spear, Summer Jazz, Yehu Sat- uh, Satori, uh, and then um, the Returners, of course, Ayush uh, Sina, Sonic Sonic Cam, and Classy Ulysses. Thank you guys for the comments. It was awesome reading them and also just interacting with you guys. Keep them coming. Yeah, so again, always love hearing comments, so feel free to leave them, and we'll try to reply to them as soon as we can. So yes. thanks, guys. And we don't really have up any um, anime news this week. Uh, we're going on to our next show, to uh, Shoku Tensei. Yes. Um, Brian. Also, uh, <laughs> before we start to uh, give, sh- give a okay. shout-out to all the people in our comments, because it's like, I think, I'm pretty sure it's like the show that we get the most comments from, oh, yes. so... Shouts to all you guys. Yes. Love um, reading your comments. Of all the people, Albert, uh, Albert Rodriguez. Thank you for uh, for joining us as well in chat on Twitch, as with the screen name Darren. Thank you for uh, thank you for being part of the comments. It was awesome reading your uh, messages. Uh, code number twelve, Doctor Sonic Spear, Summer Jazz, and uh, thank you guys for uh, commenting. Johan, where you at, man? Your boy, your boy Albert's here. And I apologize if I, if I missed anybody, but it's, uh, Sonic Cam, you may you may be part of it as well. I kind of uh... yeah, he commented too. Okay, so. yeah, Sonic child, Cam, child thank you for Sonic. returning uh, with the, your comments. Yeah. yeah. So, so I don't know. I like last week. I was just questioning, like, like can we get a time skip? Because it doesn't seem like we really. Did much and I, I, I feel like the same way kind of this week like we still i guess david, we're still getting more just, character development bro, but he's eight years old man what more do you want david come on bro enjoy the process of them growing up bro <laughs> you're I only know, young like, one time david you gotta cherish it just, man tizzle says i'm still not ready like what like what do we do this episode besides oh, just man, like what foreshadowing like, though do this episode oh like, my god there's a bunch my of cats this episode, dude. they both learn how to use fireball right Okay. She learned how to dance, right? <laughs> and then we get to see like flaming red Jupiter in the sky, dude. We get to see Roxy again. Rudy is learning the different languages. Yep. There's yeah. tons of things happening right his, now. I like Tizzle's Tizzle's comment. His growth as a character. He didn't sexually like, assault her while she was asleep. Yeah. Because that's yeah. supposed to be character development. Dude, I it, took it that is, as character dude, development. I when you, okay, win. David, when you sexually huh. assault somebody like that, I take that as character development. Mm hmm. I was very proud of him. I was like, thanks, okay. man. It was all because of the ring. Paul's ring. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that part. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and apparently, like, Rudy was the, like, like the the creator of all, like, figurines. Uh, because apparently, he made a figurine of Roxy. Dude. He's a merchant. And that merchant oh, yeah. brought it up to the prince, which yep. made it all the way to, like, Roxy's prince. Which <laughs> I love was... the irony in that. The, right. I, the it was detachable. There was, like... So. The, the details are perfect too. Like, there's a mole where it should that be. That part was actually pretty funny, but I, yeah. I don't know. It's just like, because I guess, I mean, the only thing for Rudy, he learned like a bunch of languages, but I don't know. Like, do we need another episode of this? Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready for the time skip. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't I, see much dude, of value in like, keeping him here. Dude, that, I get, oh, so to go back to the figure thing, oh, that would be an awesome job. That like you could basically just live on that. You just you know ba- you basically create the figures, you know, create your own uh, collection, and then just sell whatever you don't want, and then just hope and just pray it doesn't make it to the back to the person you created it after. Right. 
Uh, even though I think he made a gold from that, didn't he? Yeah. One gold. Yeah. Dude, that's yeah, one yeah. gold. I mean, I, I, hell, I, I, big I time, like, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I forget how like money works in this in this story. So I like, mean, one gold's a lot. It's a big deal. That's half of Galen's monthly salary. Yeah. That is brutal yeah. to think of. <laughs> so, Pretty intense. God. Um, I think for me, the only thing that maybe I'm just reading too much into is I'm interested in why Eris's mom, every time she has an interaction with Rudy, she always like looks at him with like distaste. I don't know if it's because the mom wanted to bang Paul and then, you know, Zenith took Paul f from her or <laughs> what kind of the relation is. Oh, God. It basically seems like all the gray rats are just a bunch of perverts. You know, at the very end, we have Eris's <laughs> grand uh, grandfather banging the beast maid. So, yeah. Yeah. I feel like they're they're focusing on it for a reason. Like, why would you even give the time of day to like focus on her facial expression of just like? I guess absolutely I don't know. I, I don't know how much detail they're really going with the foreshadowing here because this ain't AOT. So yeah, right. But uh, well, maybe but... it's not just foreshadowing, but just building up the world more, right? Like them. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. But they showed this, it, I well, think, yeah. at least like two or Maybe three it... times now between Rudy yeah. and any interaction that he's had with Eris' mom. Well, I I only see the mom. It's just like the reason why like Eris is like such a sunray because she's it's just from her mom. They both have like mm. the resting bitch face. There's a lot so. of growth, a lot of growth with Eris too, though. Um, she's not a complete, yeah. you know, bitch. <laughs> she even no, she's she, not a complete bitch. Well, Let's I mean, just... she well, she was accepting <laughs> help from Rudy though, and then like I mean, Rudy basically bailed her out of the whole uh, like the the Dance dancing for thing her too. Birthday. Yeah. Which, which I actually thought was actually a really cool moment as well. Um, I thought that was really well done. Uh, I, I, yeah. the, what is it, what did everybody think that like that flying kind of like red orb was at the end of the show? Oh yeah, the very last thing yeah. they showed. It, I, the, they're just like, oh, do you know what that is? It's like, nah, but it's fine. It's like, okay. He's like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's better that way. If we don't worry about yeah. it, it's like, yo, man, like, uh, as Brian says, like the flaming red high of Jupiter just up in the sky. Like, that looks kind of bad. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, it's fine. It's probably fine. I don't think just we can just, you know, brush that off. Like, <laughs> just a flaming ball coming towards Earth. Don't worry about yeah. it. Do we know if it's moving, though? Or is it just hitting? It didn't seem like it was moving. It's yeah. just like an entity up in the sky. I don't, that was the first time it was mentioned this episode, right? Like we yeah. didn't hear it before. Oh god! Okay. Yeah. So they, they yeah. just they, they just mentioned it at the end and then just cut it. So I don't yeah, know. No. For all we know, it's like some demon lord just popping in and <laughs> shit's about to get fucked up. Hey, <laughs> could be a lot of stuff. But it's uh, I don't know. But I, I definitely did kind of see with like a. Uh... So, oh god, what else was the. Um, the, okay, so when people have wands, does it actually like um, like amplify their abilities by any chance, or is it just kind of like a like a like a uh, signifying thing? Sounds like it because Sounds Roxy like a had a huge staff, and mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that amplified oh, her suppose. magic. So probably helps channel like a lot of the abilities and stuff. Gotcha. Especially if you're, if you're used to like chanting as well, so yeah. it probably helps with that too. I like how Glane's becoming like a like has like mage abilities now too. Like she has that; she could do I, math. I, I like to. <laughs> I totally like yeah. I, I forgot about that last week. How like yeah, she's she's like learning magic from this like eight year old kid. Yeah. Like, at all you couldn't learn magic from someone else besides hey, this kid. David, he was seven at the time. Okay, we had a time okay, skip. Seven. We had the time skip you wanted to eight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there was one year, baby. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no. Anyway, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I'm just I'm gonna stick with like until I get proven wrong that like I just feel like. This this and last week could have been like one episode, and like I don't. I'm just I'm waiting for Tizzle to put me wrong. With like like there needs to be a time skip soon. Like dude, I like both these episodes. Dude, David, you're <laughs> just a fat hater right now, man. You're just hating on the show for no reason. I'm, not I'm, I'm just enjoying like... the show for its pacing and what it's bringing. Same. It, think think of it like this, David. It's more world development. You know, we see this it flaming is, red bolt like... in Jupiter. We're seeing these people. But that was like and, that was like, one flying one like and stuff. <laughs> it was like a small part of the end, and it's like it could have been content. I don't know, like. It's more yeah, the about the up, you know, it, like it was like the, characters I didn't really, I don't know, more characters about. I, really, would, I don't, yeah, I don't really care about the characters here, like, like rude. the gray rat family here. I mean, like, rude. I would say so. it was, it'd be valid if we were still like you know in the instance where this was only going to be like a twelve episode, you know, first kind of taste, and I'd right, be like, true. okay, holy shit, like where are they going with this? But the fact that we have you know the green light of you At know more to come yeah. and everything, like hopefully that should you know rest kind of any unease of the current pacing yeah i mean i'll take it because yeah 
I mean, but I mean, if it was only like those eleven episodes, like if we never actually got like that second half, I'd be, I'd be oh, with man, David. Yeah, like we're we're like, we're in a the yeah. season with this girl, we're, then yeah. I'd be like, yeah, this is what like, yeah, we have a problem. <laughs> trying, keep thinking this whole time. Yeah. I don't know. No, the first well, the first half is eleven, sir. Um, yeah. But yeah. the second but half we, was only eleven. But uh, but we don't know what the other, like, when the other half is coming though. Yeah, or if right. it's uh, we don't know if it's gonna be taking a break or if it's just gonna be continuing. Uh, I mean, I, I hope it continues, and then um, or if it does have to take a break. Like hopefully it's done in like a like a decent place, and then we can have like a little bit of a like a little bit of um. I, I mean they didn't announce. I'm just assuming like you take a break spring and then come back summer. So yeah, oh yeah, just we'll space. I'm just used to like just basically that every time. All right, I'll okay. just next okay next episode. I'll just keep my mouth shut and just like just see what happens, and then at least we're still here. I'll just I'll just enjoy it like you guys said. I'll stop being the hater. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bro. If come anything, on. I they got announced we're... for long running. Yeah. Let it long run, bro. <laughs> Give like, it the time. It's, it's everything has been setting up perfectly, and I think the pacing is perfect as well. Uh, I'm sure the payoff is going to be well worth it. And it looks like with what Tizzo is saying, uh, the next episode should be pretty, uh, pretty hype. So. Ooh, all right. We got so, that insider information. Yeah. Right. I, another thing with the show that, like, I, I keep thinking, like, uh, on some of those things, like the symbolism. Where I, I'm thinking, I, like I'm thinking too hard into it, like that ring, when uh, when she first gave it to Ares, I'm thinking, oh god, like what, like what's gonna come up later when she said like it like prevents wolves. I kept thinking like, are we gonna see wolves at some point in this? Until they basically broke that story with Paul, where uh, and Rudy's just like, you know what, never mind, let's just skip it. Yeah, like, I was like, okay, I was thinking too much again, about this. Like, yeah. Well, again, we don't have, we don't have much to show us foreshadowing, so we'll have to see. That's why I keep thinking, like, it, it, okay, it, we're gonna get it, foreshadowing. But no, it, it, it's a good habit to have, Stratton. Like, okay. it's a good habit to pay attention <laughs> to, like, to these kind of things. So keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, I don't know, like, but like again, like I, I really didn't have many like issues with this, um, or with this episode. I'm like, just I'm the only hater like here. Apparently. Sorry, David. Yep. I'm a, I'm a hater for a lot of other shows, but so far not this one. I'm not, <laughs> so. I mean, not a hater. I'm just like. I just think we take up the face a little bit, all right? Just, I don't know. Dude, I'm fine. There's a, we have a unlimited amount of episodes, hopefully, in the future. I don't want to limit it, but okay. All right, we'll see. Yes. Fair enough. All right, so I guess that'll be it for this week's episode of Shoka Tensei. Wait, come back here next week where I get proven wrong. <laughs> Did anything happen this week? <laughs> no, nothing happened. Right. Half the cast so. died. <laughs> <laughs> gotta say it just for for tizzle so. yep <laughs> all right so yeah that's it for mishoka tensei we're going to, go on to our next show talk about jujutsu kaisen brian go Ooh, yeah brian <laughs> floor is yours good when when he when they dropped it from the sky dude oh my god i left out of my chair just cheers of joy i was so excited i was like it's about to go down and i was so excited dude <laughs> Talk about a hero landing, dude. Oh yeah. my god. Those are my favorite. I love those. Oh god. Fucking bromance. So that that's bromance right there. Oh god, right? dude. Yeah, the, by the far best character. The creation of a best friend by Toto gets me every time. He's like, my best friend. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Her brother. Uh <laughs> Uh, or was there like my, my brother or something like, like they basically yeah. they're dropping a bunch of like the other words i, I just love english in, in anime yeah like it's the it's situations a, in I mean, English. david your david thoughts on anime or right, english makes anime. It different, <laughs> makes i don't weird. but I, i'll 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 let it slide for the show god hating on another aspect or for who's <laughs> I, I for Kuz, bro this is Kuz boy right here right? i gotta do it for him right. Toto is the boy all right he's hell the, yeah <laughs> dude <laughs> Okay, now okay. I know we're, we're all hyped up, yes. Yuji and Toto, but we got to talk about the beginning with Toge and you know okay. just absolutely smashing his vocal cords yeah, to try I, to hold off. I love that guy too. Bad, man. Hanabi. So it basically sounds like like uh like when he uses like his abilities, like it like it basically like sucks up whatever energy like depending on like the level of you know whoever he's hitting it with. So it basically sounds Is like that how like, it works. Well, that's what it made it sound like. It sounded like when he he hit him. Like, because they, 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 they even kind of, like, mentioned how he was, like, already at his limit, and he only, like, said a couple, like, base. It didn't even make it sound like he, like, uh, she even, she, was it she? I can't remember who, who, uh, who was, like, thinking about it at the time. But it's, like, where yeah, he was, was using only, uh, the little witch girl, I think. Um, where, yeah, it was somebody where he was basically saying he was just using basic terms. Like, it wasn't even, like, any intense words, 
But just uh, basically, just using those ones, like, sap, like, everything out of them. Yeah, I think it was primarily Megumi was kind of talking okay, through, so like, it was his Megumi. abilities. I, I and he, like yeah. you were talking about, Sren, where his abilities kind of also hinder on, like, the gap Yeah. in terms of, like, curse power. So, at the beginning, when, you know, they first are fighting Hinami, they think that Toge is, like, pretty equal standing in terms of, like, curse level power, because he's, you know, kind of holding her off for the beginning, and then... All of a sudden, when, you know, Megami thinks that Toge's going to save them again with another use of his voice, and they just show, you know, blood vomiting from his mouth, he's just like, uh-oh. Like, this, is, this isn't as equal of a fight as I thought it was. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, like, it, but what's crazy, though, is, like, even, like, if uh, somebody's, like, crazy strong above him, <laughs> it's cool that he's still able to do, like, damage to them. Like, uh, we're, um... Yeah, we're, this is a special grade yeah. Um, curse. Yeah, so. like, like, when he said blow away, I was kind of hoping he would blow him further away, but... Like, yeah, but, right? But, I thought it was a little bit further than the distance yeah. that when they panned out a little bit, it's like, oh. oh <laughs> it's oh, like, oh, just oh, the next oh, building oh, okay. by? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but even when it happened, though, it looks so cool. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Koo. I, I, oh, I'll, I'll give him props. I'll go ahead, Koo, though. No, I was just going to say, good effort to him. Yes, you know? exactly. I, I'll give him props because, like, there's, he's still technically, like, you know, a young, like, jujitsu, kai, jiu-jitsu sorcerer or whatever. Yeah. So then, like, so being able to do that to, like, a, a special grade, like, curse i uh, like that's gotta take a lot of strength that like probably like, not even that a lot of the adults could do so i think that just shows like how strong he is yeah Dude, it, i don't know like his abilities are still like so hype like i just like love it when or like the abilities like, i've mentioned before where he just like basically just speaks and just like the po- like just the power of it um and just when they show the impact and especially with the mappa animation it makes it just look so much more impactful but that was even like the main like animation part of it though it just it was the fight with you know toto and uh and yuji that was just the, the, like the whole animation, like the just how they basically with them like running around like on the vines, like with the just like the how they were just like doing the transitions with it all. It just looks so sick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, well, well, we can't forget about you know prior to that as well. We learned a little bit further about uh, cursed weapons and how oh, Megumi right. was holding on to Maki's like three part uh, pole weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, which that like, like all really of Mar- badass. Oh. <laughs> All the martial arts weapon here, like every mm-hmm. time I see like Megumi, like his weapon. I forgot what that weapon's called, but I just skip it. Right of South Park, the, the, the South Park episode where they get the weapons become ninjas. Do the, the oh right, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, that's a it's good like, reference. You know, you know what Dan or Kyle has. Like I just keep remembering that episode, and like every time I see Megumi's weapon, <laughs> wait, so so which one? Oh, the oh the, the ones that got destroyed, the baton looking things. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, question regarding to powers, right? Mm-hmm. So, how does he like? Does he just have, like have a power to like keep storage of all those weapons, like in a, a separate area to pull them out of? It's like a Gilgamesh vault. <laughs> yeah, that how that works? Yeah, it's like a vault in a shaft. Yeah, that's my guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if he has sure. like a shit ton of weapons or if like Maki just gave him that one specific weapon. Because I know they did have like a scene where they showed like a bunch of weapons in a vault. Yeah. yeah. I took that as like that's like Maki's like reserve of weapons, and she just gave Megumi like that one weapon to hold on. Like that makes sense. For these too, type yeah. of situations. Yes. Yeah. I don't know because he did have that like, black sword too, though. Yeah, that's the other thing. But I don't know if that is an actual sword or if that's like him just like forming a sword because i don't know yeah i don't know yeah i want to say like, really learned learned that that okay i want to say like yeah. it's like i don't think his technique it's not making stuff i think like yeah it's so i don't know i don't i, don't, I can't really see it making stuff but i don't because yeah. the way they introduce his power is like he can summon like the the shiki so it's like basically like you summon like like your your spirit animals yeah. or whatever so i don't i don't know what the whole like yeah space thing is supposed to be about Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, unless it's like, Meg- unless, unless, well, unless it's related to like the the domain stuff that like that Gojo uses. If that like that's like his domain. Mm. Oh yeah. Maybe I don't know. Could be. Seems possible. What's up, Brian? Thoughts on Megumi's like summoning skill, where like if one is completely killed off, it like merges with the other one. That's pretty uh, sick. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's badass. But what? Yeah. That is really cool, but um, I guess like so basically he loses it. Can he re- do do uh, do you guys know if he can replenish that? Is it a spoiler? I don't know if anybody who's read it or if I we think know. I think like, like since the that. white dog died, and I'm pretty sure it's just dead. Yeah, yeah, that's what I took it as. Like there's like yeah. these zodiac beings, and like once they die, like 
that's it for that like summoning that individual but can but, you like, get Ryan another one though? That, can you like replenish that oh in that like same space yeah mm. i don't know i don't think we know enough about like where these beings come from that he calls upon okay yeah like gotcha. ah i don't know i want to say they're, they're shikis he should, be, he should be able to make them i think by like make them out of paper or whatever and just summon like put curse energy in it and then summon that form i wonder if it takes like, a long time to do though i wonder if it's just like a brutal kind yeah, of we don't we don't know how long that bond yeah. process takes yeah. i guess He's because like you know he's like he's like the one one of the characters who like we don't have much of backstory on really That's compared true. to like the others in this tournament. So yeah. I'm just waiting more. He's, yeah. I think he's still like like my favorite or the one I'm most interested in the show. So I'm just waiting for that backstory drop. Right. Yeah, man. And then how can we not talk about the you know title of this episode, Black Flash, yeah. which is <laughs> you know, this new hey, hey, that the, Toto teaches you. G. I was gonna mention that too. Like, so is, did he really just learn that while he was fighting Toto? I'm yeah, so, yeah. yeah, essentially, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, so like, that's what happens when you have Toto as a as a as a sensei. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, friend, as a as a best friend. That too. Of a sensei. <laughs> oh, brother, oh, my so best I... character ever, dude. <laughs> I'm trying like to like remember like what's exactly. Basically, you just put all like your power into like a trillionth of a second in like one one hit. Is that basically it? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. yeah. That fucking picture, Brian. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say too the first part when the battle started if when when Toto's like, Oh, I'm just gonna sit out here and wait. I'm like, dude, this is like the the part of showing I don't like when you just make a character just watch each other like watch Dude, I thought it was sick. Someone else I thought it was so oh, cool. No, I hundred percent no. disagree. I was yeah. like, yo, this guy's let him get his one on ones, yeah. let him duke it out. I was like, if you can't do it, you're gonna die because I'm just letting you die. And he's like, like, Yeah, I'm not gonna help you like, at all. I love yeah, that Toto. I'm not, I love not the time for that. And also the part where, like, where there's so much talking in between the, the fights, it's like, okay, this is a little too shown in right now. Like, but I loved, I loved it all, man. Like, no, of course. Like, it, any, of the, any of the talking between like Toto and Yuji is like, dude, I'll take as much time. Like, just take me out of the scene. I don't care. When, when like, <laughs> when uh, Hanami is just like sitting there, like, like letting them talk, it's like. To be fair though, on, like, like, like uh, that that uh, tree creature has basically just kind of like sat there and just like just like watching people, I guess. Because it, it makes it seem like, like yeah. Because because it, it it feels like you know, where they're like because even they even kind of like uh, talked about a little bit of the backstory about how you know, like it like it's never enjoyed like a like a fight or anything. It's basically just kind of done its mm-hmm. thing. But this is like the first time now where it, it's actually enjoying itself, and it just feels like it's also it's almost like where it's like wanting to be like not like because uh, I remember like way back where they talked about how they were wanting to be human mm-hmm. to an extent. Mm-hmm. So it could also it could easily be just like watching their interactions, how like what they do. How they speak, and then they're just learning. So, yeah. I, but it's I can also be thinking way too much like of this. Tendencies. Yeah, it's just like it just felt like a little too shown in. Loved it. So. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just say, I'll just say, um, that fight when they like, they were at the when they were in the sky and like they did like the whole she did the whole vine stuff. Mm-hmm. Did it, is it bad if I say it reminded me of Naruto a lot? I know, like, I definitely got those vibes. Basically, like, with the basically like, like Yuji and how, Moto. How so, though? How so? Because the like, animation they, they was up, not as bad as the one well, with Naruto. No, yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, of I'm, course. I'm saying, like, when they were running on the, the vines, each, like, um, that reminds so much of Naruto right there. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I agree with that. That's what I was thinking as well. I thought, no, I thought this was way better. It was beautiful. It was well done in terms of all the choreography and everything. It gave me the vibes of when All Might and Deku was fighting uh against that one guy in the movie oh, in the movie yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yeah, yeah that, too. that's the vibe yeah, very true yeah okay yeah. that's a good that's a good one i guess yeah um, i guess my my first thought was just naruto from i think the last movie would ship it in? yes oh okay, oh, yeah, okay. that'd be the one yeah, yeah, yeah. i just see i just see so many naruto scenes where people are like are throwing like stuff like a huge <laughs> like vine <laughs> or whatever and like and like all the ninjas just running on it that's all i see so yeah, yeah. I just, they run on a lot of stuff it's, it's happened in a few yeah. episodes in naruto yeah what uh so, what do you guys think of hinami's other arm i know we haven't seen much of the, it but the, did the you flower ex- thing. It looks yeah, intense did you, expect, did you expect just to have like another arm underneath like those wraps or no yeah i, 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 yeah, like, I, I don't know what else i could have expect like thinking about it but I was expect. I was thinking like maybe it was like uh, not not an arm, but like if it was just kind of like a. Um, I don't know if it was like a gaping hole because it's like because obviously like it, it's able to like regenerate. It can grow stuff, so I, th- I just assume it was something that would just like shoot out like a bunch of like vines or something or yeah. or those or those Some plants of... or those plants that basically it's like where you just implant them and then like if you use it, it basically just like mm-hmm. takes like takes you over or something. Yeah, and I'm guessing then the flower or bulbs probably gonna be Hinami's like trump card. 
has yep. like the final ability. Where it needs like it needs like gain. Guy, if you will. It basically like or it needs like gain like cursed energy and then like, like and then uh blooms and then something happens. Yeah, maybe yeah, it absorbs yeah. something. But because so. like account, it sounds like a lot of her powers though is, is more like poison type, where like she's like mm-hmm. trying to like stick like the the roots in you to like suck out your your cursed energy. So I don't mm-hmm. know. That's gonna be more effective. But then again, like we had did have like the huge vines coming for her as a huge physical attack as well. Yeah, so, uh... and Toto mentioned specifically about how the vines are oh, pure <laughs> manifestations of her curse energy, not like actual like real world vines that she's just pulling from like Earth or whatever. And they're both dodging stuff in the middle of the air too, basically just by kicking off. Yeah, each that other. was okay, that bad. That though. I will say that that was sick. <laughs> yeah. What did they say there? Like my best friend or brother? Which which saying yeah, video? Are you ready, my best? Friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous but i love it yeah i love it yeah no it's uh i don't know it's uh God, what was i, what was I gonna uh, say um i'm uh i forgot i i, I mean i i hate to say it but it, i'm more and more feeling that toto ain't making it oh god uh, I, I hate oh, to god. be that guy the second <laughs> week in a row here yeah, but we got next week Toto being like, "All right, it's time for me to show my um, technique," which I think is going to be like that, you know, like swap technique where they're just like teleporting yeah. with each other. And oh, then yeah. I think something's going to go wrong where Hanami's going to use this bulb like trap card, and it's just going to fuck Toto up. Yeah, Welcome God. to the dark side, fellas. Oh, yes. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not a part of this. I'm always gonna, I'm going to believe in the shonen, the shonen yeah. trope, and nobody dies. <laughs> I, I hate to be a but. I mean, uh, man, yeah, my man, my I, best I, friend, that best friend can't stay forever. God, you know, God. brothers, I mean, yeah. whenever there's a deep, passionate relationship of brothers, one of the brothers ain't making it. <laughs> yeah, someone's gotta go. Uh, yeah, that's how it usually goes, but Brian, we'll, we'll see. Brian, thoughts? Of? Um, I mean, if Toto dies, do you... I'm gonna be crying. <laughs> like, actual tears. I'll be like, my best friend! <laughs> I'm gonna be just on my knees crying. Oh my god, it's gonna be a sad yeah. day. Yeah, I, I I thought like when they when they had like the move called like Black Flash or whatever it was called, I was expecting like some Shunpo stuff. Like I, I was thinking, oh damn, they're just gonna be like moving like crazy fast where they just like where you know, like where you just lose yeah. sight of them. And, and I was maybe uh, I can't help but read into like the opening. Yeah, like, song I know. Again, I know. The different scenes. I'm still wondering if that slow mo with Yuji at like the very end of the song was Black Flash. Or if that's like an even further Something amplified else. to like Sakuna or uh, yeah the devil guy that's within you, he's gonna. Oh, yeah, dude, like, I, totally to... about, I totally forgot about Sakuna. He's like, not like showed up at all this I during this. Yeah, all, all it was was himself. Hinami just being like, oh, this is the boy that has you know Sakuna within him. Like, yeah, you know, that's all we've heard from him in like multiple episodes. Yep. Yep. And we haven't seen strange. the fight between the old man and the guy who's fixated with creating Gojo as a uh, a coat rack. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Jujutsu Stroll. I was yeah. gonna say straight when you said like Black Flash, you thought it was a Shunpo. I was gonna say it's basically, basically like a, like a like a like a Hero Academia smash, like an All Might smash. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting, but when you hear Flash, I'm just assuming. All right, they're gonna he's just gonna like move crazy fast or something. Well, yeah. sir, you got bamboozled. Uh, yeah. Was that one out of the hundredth or thousandth of a second or something? A, tr- a trillion. Yeah. A trillion. A trillion of a second? Oh, my <laughs> lamp. I'm not which saying. Is, which is funny, because uh, zero in Japanese is also ray. So when I when you say that in the, in the Japanese, you just, I just heard ray, 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 ray. I was like, that's a lot of that's a lot of rays or zeros. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't awesome. It's, I'll definitely take this, too. I just I was expecting it to be something different. But mm-hmm. yeah, but I'll take yes. it. But anyway, uh, uh, we've hit the I limit. If show, everybody's man. done, I love this show. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like it's awesome. dude, the animation is just like holding up. Like it's like episode after another too. Like they're just they're just they're not holding back. I'll say that um like so like I really like the direction it went with um the the villains invading. Like I really like the tournament arc in general, but then it's just just brought up to brought up higher. So yeah. oh yeah, overall I'm enjoying season two. So that's gonna be it for Jujutsu Kaisen. We're gonna go with uh, Higurashi. Oh man! So <laughs> Higurashi, it's it's they're they're still just slowly building up to the point where um, Sotoko is able to become the Looper or the someone that has been controlling Rika going back in the past all of this time. Uh, we're still in the time uh, line of Rika and Sotoko living at this all-girl charter school. And uh, Sotoko's not doing so hot, right? I really thought that she was going to kill Rika to kind of go back in time, but it looks <laughs> like she hasn't acquired that power yet. Um, but, man, it's just... I don't know, man. Like, every episode that goes on, you just hate Sotoko. 
more because she's not having a great time at the school. She misses uh, Hinamizawa. Um, it's just carrying just, that uh, that Taylor energy with you this week. This little <laughs> bitch, man. <laughs> you know, like she has to be such a little bitch. And then, like, uh, so there's troubles going on, right? Rika's fit in just fine. She's enjoying her life, and she's slowly starting to like separate herself from Satoko. But then, you know, she still respects her in a sense to where she's not going to bad mouth her. Uh, she still defends her. Um, but yeah. It's, it's not like it's a half a Satoko. And then all of a sudden, they get a uh, mail or they get a letter from uh, Mion saying, hey, let's let's uh, have a reunion with the Gamers Club. So they go back to Hinamizawa uh, and you know, they play games again. You see everyone all grown up. You see Keiichi, Reina, Mion, uh, and, you know, Satoko and uh, Rika. And no Shion, unfortunately, but supposedly they're going to see her. We're going to see her in the next episode supposedly so if, if you're a Sion fan you know just 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 keep waiting Sion will will uh, will be there eventually and um as of right now they're about to go to a restaurant to meet with Sion and like just kind of have like a last dinner together and all of a sudden Satoka wanted to stay behind in the village and kind of take a look around and she goes across that that shrine that had that statue that was uh that had that uh, the blade that can kill immortals or whatever and uh, apparently the statue broke and a horn popped up. I think it was Hanyu's horns. And the minute she touches yeah, it, she gets so, yeah. to uh, that realm where Rico was at earlier, where there's just shattered glass everywhere. And she meets either Hanyu or someone else that's kind of like that looks kind of like Hanyu. I'm not quite sure. I, it's, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Hanyu. So I assume yeah. usually in like these animes, it's like when you're full power, you're like your adult form. And I assume like the one we saw with Rika is like she lost all her powers. That's why she turned back to a child. So I assume it is Hanyu. Right. So it looks like this is the start of everything. This is when Satoko became the looper uh, for this season. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it can go either way at this point. I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, according to the previews for the next week's episode, it's going to be this arc still. So uh, we should come down to the end of this arc because this is arc episode four. And usually they only have four episodes in one arc. So, uh, man, uh, fucking... I was like, I was losing track of count because, like, yeah, yeah. But man, just this, this, this arc. Oh my god, so insane! I hate Satoko so much, and for some <laughs> reason, none of the characters have like changed. Like they don't have any physical features that that's been changed. You know, they're, they're a little bit taller, somewhat slimmer, but everyone looks exactly the same. And for some reason, that bothers me. <laughs> like just the character design, it really <laughs> bothers me. You know, and I, oh god, they they do look the same. Like I, I'll say that. Like they, like they, like, cause yeah, like. Even like like yeah, Rika and Satoko looked like as they did like when they're kids, and then Keiichi barely grew taller. You know, he's also an adult now. Right, they're so in college. Kind of funny. You know? I, th I think the only one that 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 somewhat matured is Reina. Right, everyone else somewhat looks the same. And the thing that bothers me is I mentioned it before, like throughout this whole season, sometimes the the character design changes. Sometimes a little bit slimmer, sometimes they look more more mature, and other times the drawings are so crude that you don't know what to make of it that, oh, you know, they're just little kids. So, like, who, who cares how they look like? But, yeah, the, the character designs are so inconsistent that it really bothers me, and I hope <laughs> that, I hope that when they actually go back, they can make it somewhat consistent, but I mean, there's only four episodes left, I think. Four or five episodes left, so I'm not gonna uh, worry. No, I think you're stuck with it. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's it, it's so bothersome. I just want to say, like, man, I just like, I just have like no sympathy for like Satoko. They're trying to portray her as someone who like lost her friend, but it's like you consider like what Rika has to go through. It's just so, I don't know. It's just like it, it just looks like like Satoko. It makes her look like a spoiled brat because like mm -hmm. she's just just I mean she's a little bit lonely compared to like all the shit that Rika has to go through. So I don't know. It's just like. I can't like yeah I can't sympathize with Toko and I just feel like whatever they do with this with their character I, just, I can't find a redeeming at all. No, and I don't know you you haven't seen the original uh, seasons have you like the original season no. one season two no. 
Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe no. they they've changed her her character in a sense, like just with her personality and whatnot. But if this is all she was in the original anime, I I don't see how anyone would have liked her at all. Uh, but yeah. So so that's spotted. I think for this week they're still just building out the, the big climax, and it looks like next week might be where we get to the origin point. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for Higurashi. I'll move on to Log Horizon. And I'll try to uh, explain what little I saw because I was basically skipping through the episode. Oh, fun, fun. Um, so, did you like the puppet show, Shren? Dude, this is the, okay. So this this felt like what should have been the first episode of the season. I don't know why. Like even like with the puppet stuff, I thought like okay, like are they like doing like like a little bit of a um, kind of like a like a rundown of like what's going on of like what's going on with Krusty? I'm th- thinking like why why wasn't this like the beginning of the season? I would say I was I was thinking like I was just talking to Justin. I was like, if if people were, <laughs> if people like thought like the first half of this like this uh, season was just awful, I would say start here, at this episode, and then just forget about the political stuff. Considering that I I, I think one it was just, it, it just felt like it was almost like a waste of time. Nothing really happened. The main guy dropped out of the thing anyway, so it's just like what the what, it, it just it, it went over my head. I'm sure it, it had more of a meaning. Like, but <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, they better make that important later, because, like, it went on for a while. Yeah. Basically, like, half the season. All for it, just, all, the only really big thing that happened was, that, like, the, the portal to Less Empire was open. That's basically it. But, going back to this episode, um, it was, I don't know, like, I don't know if I liked the, the narration of just the puppet show, but I really wanted from, like, Krusty's point of view in the server but see that's why i thought like the like the little puppet like the little extra puppet stuff i just took that as like this should have been like the like a, almost like a like a synopsis of what's been happening or something that's been like like what, what's been going on on his side like i was like this just felt like what should have been the first episode of the season <laughs> like it's just I, I don't know why they 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 waited this long for it it's i don't know actually thinking thinking back now i should have i, sh- I should just watched yeah, the whole thing's kind of skimming through because, like, there's more lore in this episode. Yeah, like, there's um, a lot more. Like, how, like, the ancient hero or whatever, he's, like, from the game, and he's somehow traveling in that in the Chinese server. Yeah. And then, uh, what else? That, that one weird lady, the Yoren, I think she's important, or she makes medicine or whatever. I don't know. Like, um, Yeah, I don't know. It's basically kind of shows, like, his kind of, uh, I guess, like, his crew he's been running with like on this new server and where he basically it just seems like Krusty is just bored beyond all belief like there's nothing that's really happening but of course you know something ends up happening where it's just like some uh some really like the the medicine lady you're talking about how she's just uh I mean obviously she's evil or she has her own kind of thing going on we really don't need to know any more than that we just know that she's trying to do something um and then was it she's currently trying to corrupt like some level 100 I think 100 elf uh guy well actually I think he is currently corrupted which is just this guy's supposed to be OP and, like, you know, uh, Dr. Quinn, he's, the medicine lady, just kind of comes in and basically whispers in his ear and he's corrupted. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's, uh... And then they, at, at the end, too, they barely just met with Kanami. So we barely, like, finally getting to whatever yeah. her arc's supposed to be. Yeah. But it's like, it, but I, I, I'm still saying it, though, that if this were to be, like, the first opening episode of the season, like, I would have had so much, so much of a higher kind of, like, uh, like, like, um... I don't know, like, like either like respect for the season, where it just felt like, it, where it's it just kind of get up, it just got up and going right away, just showing us what's been going on with Krusty, like you know, right where the second season ended off. Um, we got to see like where he's going, even at his party as well. His party is there, um, or I don't know if it was his original party. It was like the, it's supposed to be like Shearway's like ex girlfriend. I don't know how ser- I don't know if that's serious. I can't remember. Ex girlfriend. It's, yeah. it's, it's not his ex girlfriend. Okay, see, like, the, I don't remember. The same party. Okay, yeah, she was, see, yeah, she was the leader of the the debauchery party or whatever yeah. Yeah. party or whatever yeah so yeah. when yeah when they said ex-girlfriend i was like huh i don't remember that i was like all right whatever <laughs> i just gotta move it on it just it was a joke sorry. okay well it was my just bad. a joke like this season oh <laughs> no um yeah, yeah there was oh. a but it's like but they finally got in kind of like the rating stuff where they're in like a dungeon where you have to be like specific level like a like a certain specific level you can't be over the level uh, to be able to to join but crusty has like some sort of like a curse currently weakness where it's Curse, like yeah yeah where he's just like he has just a crazy ass debuff on him um which you know of course he does op characters always get debuffs at some point for some uh, for some reason but it's but i mean really 
that was kind of like really my whole kind of complaint. I kept thinking like this, this is where it should have started. And then, uh, but I mean, I didn't hate the episode. Uh, it's like, it, I, I actually felt like I cared more about this one. I felt like you were like when I heard when I heard from you, Stern, like I, I felt like you were hyping up for me. Like oh, no, I didn't really feel it. it was, no, no, it was more of just because you you didn't just skip through it. You didn't watch it. it but I, I wasn't really hyped either. <laughs> I just kept thinking like, dude, this is the episode that it should have started with. Like it, it's not like it was like some crazy episode. It's just more of like, oh my god, they're finally back into rating. They're finally doing what we they should have been doing instead of making yes. everything political. I feel like this Maybe is how we'll, I hopefully. We'll, I, I feel like this is how I felt about Attack on Titan season two, right when I gave up. Like I gave up on it right <laughs> when I thought I could. I mean, yeah, it's, that was the time, David, that you said that you were uh, that you dropped the manga I, too, right? I dropped the manga the equivalent? at oh, that time gotcha. like, uh, during the story arc. I dropped the manga until the anime came back. So, gotcha. Yeah. Well, I mean, anyway, uh, Long Horizon. Um, not this episode was not all that bad. Definitely my. My my favorite episode, it, but it has a long way to go though, because this they already did, like dug we're, in so we're, deep into the season. Living, we're living on the hope that like they're gonna start raiding with that dungeon that they promised this episode. So yeah. fingers crossed. Even though like Krusty's <laughs> cursed, he's cursed though, so it's like I don't know. Hopefully, Economy and her party can carry. I guess. Tis only a flesh. Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, that's all I really have to say about this. All right. Yeah, we'll we'll keep it short for Log Horizon this week. Yeah, that was a... and then um, before so that that's gonna be it for Log Horizon. We wanted to. Yeah, I know you were show. really looking forward to it, so you, okay. you loved this week's episode. I did not. <laughs> um, okay, so wow, you're a baby in the horror episode. Right? Yeah. Well, okay, so okay, so for the slime show, things finally happened, but at the but how they did it, it just kind of got me thinking. Where I was just like, it's such a dumb. A dumb thing. It's like it reminds me of like when uh when like when the creator realizes like about halfway through that everything they've done they've made the, their characters like way too strong to really have anything like happen. So th- basically, what ended up happening in this episode is like those three was it those three kids from like another world that basically they're just awful. Like again, d- just terrible villains. Like it's oh, just so, it's yeah. just four st- just four stupid villains, and it's uh but but then they have like that magic barrier that basically it's just like it's just like nerfing everybody. Like, whatever powers they have, they're just, like, losing those powers. They haven't really, like, explained why. It just basically affects monsters, I guess. And, um, so, so because of that, uh, because they, they, they nerfed everybody in the town. So, of course, then those, the, the weak-ass, like, uh, kids from another world were able to just basically destroy everybody. Or beat them all down. And then they make it look <laughs> like where, like, the army's coming in and how, like, oh, they were being attacked by monsters. It's like, dude, this is just fucking stupid. Like, I just hate when it's just, like, one, it's just like, how how could they actually get, like, that gigantic, like, double, like, magic barrier kind of going in uh, to actually, like, to work in this town? It, it was just, it was just really dumb. But yet they were kind of, like, ready because that one orc lady had, like, that, uh, that barrier that kind of, like, um, negated that one chick's, uh, from another world's magic which I thought like it was like okay, this is just kind of like pulling stuff from from their ass at this point, but it's whatever. And then um, I mean, that's and then, been this whole show, this yeah, from yeah. start. Yeah, and then of course Rimuru, he he's uh, over in another place, and somehow they didn't explain it, but there's a magic barrier around him too that only affects specific aspect like uh, like uh, aspects of him, not uh, not all of his abilities, not all of his monster abilities, but he still has other abilities that still work. And I thought, like, what the fuck is this? Like, it was, it's, like, almost a, they're keeping those things open because I'm assuming that they're going to bail him out with his gluttony ability uh, next at the beginning of next episode because that's kind of how it ended. But anyway, before that, though, it's, um, they had the magic barrier up and then, of course, said this chick because Rimuru is, you know, completely, it just is, uh, like, on a handicap now where it just makes it look like she's, like, crazy strong. And he keeps mentioning it, like, man, this chick's, like, really strong. I'm thinking, no. No, she's not. You're just fucking debuffed right now. I'm like you're fine. You're just uh, stuck in a stupid situation again. And then uh, where she has like some sort of ability where it's uh, it doesn't actually like, at- attack the physical form, but it actually attacks the spirit or something. And it's one of those where if it's if like they hit the per- uh, if she hits the person, I think it's like seven times or something like that. It, like it like destroys the spirit or the soul of the of the monster and or kills them. And, um, and I'm thinking, oh my god, it's it, like it was, it was just like a lot of those things where I was just thinking like it's finally like something's happening, but just the way they executed it, it just felt it just felt so bad. And like it, it's again, they could have done so much better. And I and I really hate kind of like the bailout effects where it's just like you know you yourself you've made the, like the characters as like who they are, but because of what you did, like you have to basically nerf everybody. It's not like just like a you can't just do like fair fights or anything like that. It's it's it was just I don't know. 
it was just really annoying. And uh, that's really kind of like my gist. Like it's like it's like finally it's something something's happening, but there's so many of these characters and like just things that I hate in the show that uh, I just felt just enraged at the end of it. <laughs> so it's uh, it, so it, again yeah, made me glad I didn't watch it this week then. <laughs> yeah, but well, I, mean, I would have just like kind of got. I would like to get your thoughts just like on the whole thing of just like how they did it and how you know how Rimmer is a monster, but there's okay. only specific aspects of the magic barrier that was actually affected him. And he didn't lose all of his abilities. I was like, but all the other monsters lost their abilities. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's like the... I don't know. It's just, it's just not fun watching him being OP anymore. I don't know. Well, it's not it's fun, just, like, watching them, just, like, they're... Like, they did it themselves, and then they basically... It's like, oh, magic barrier on everything. You're all debuffed now. You're all nerfed. Or on a handicap. I'm thinking, really, that's, like... You're not going to explain, like, how exactly they got everything kind of, like, pinpointed. I mean, I know that lady kind of, like, got in and basically set nope. the whole thing up, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm probably being too hard on this show, but it's maybe like, next week's right. He's got to give us some. Time. No, no, you're not. No, yeah, that's knows. you're perfectly. You're <laughs> doing the right three, amount. Three Chris more episodes, Fred. four more episodes. Just give him time. Yeah, just give him we'll time. Get there. Oh yeah, we're only we'll on. Uh, we're only on what, like episode <laughs> six or seven or something right now. Yeah, um, yeah. Last episode no, for yeah. sure. For sure. Bam. Yeah. But it's this. but this is the first episode we're actually seeing like a fight again. But it's like at the same time, I still don't even like even though like everybody's nerfed, everybody got like their ass beat down and stuff. Like the and the and the uh, Rimuru's town's just like up in flames. I still don't take it serious. Like it's just just doesn't feel like that show. Yeah. It's I don't know because they they first kind of said it in like a way at the beginning. I think we mentioned this before where it felt like it could be serious, but they kind of just went away from it, and they just had it made it more of like a slice of life, like in another world, kind of like where Rimuru solves all the problems by just spitting things out. The and actions then, don't have a lot of weight to them at the end of the day. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. So that's where we are. It's like it's basically Sasha's worst. Thing that he hates for animes, so yeah, he uh, but I, uh yeah. yeah, that being said, we should recommend it to but, him, I'm sure he'd love it. But again, it's just like Switch. I don't understand why the show is so popular when like oh, yeah, nothing happened, yeah. Like, so, um, well, the, like, the other I mean, thing. first season, like I actually really liked it, I was hyped for this season, but I mean, and but then, uh, but god, I don't know, it's another just terrible start, it's just it's just another average isekai. Oh, yeah, dude, there's way better. Being, Oh, no, no, like, guys. We're yeah. just millennials that don't get it. That's just the problem. Could be. We're just too old. Okay. What do we know? <laughs> and what do we know? People just went... Can't keep well, to be fair, though, I think we would it, like this Moroku because it's it's slowed down. It's, like, really... It's really, like, you know, chill. It's basically, like, a town building. It's, uh, you know, it's just living daily lives, and every once in a while, there's a fight. <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. Insert, oh. insert Simpsons meme here. Oh, are we wrong? God. No, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I'm done. Uh, I love it. <laughs> All right, so that's it for for the slime show. Um, you can move on either to Kimmel Jihan or if Taylor is ready, you can just move to Hori Mia and then B Stars. So take your pick. Why don't you do Kimono Jihan first? Okay, we'll do Kimono Jihan. So that's all you guys. Yeah. Um, I really like this week's episode of Kimono Jihan. What did you think, Ku? Yeah, it actually added some plot to the story, you know? It wasn't and Like too we bad. said last week, we finally got, you know, that insight of characters' backgrounds, which we said was going to really be, you know, the make or break of this series, of if they were just going to continue and do one-off, you know, like, oh, new enemy, new evil that the gang needs to um, defeat through kind of BS, like, uh, adaptations of new powers. But this episode completely focused on the background of the characters, which is awesome. Yeah, and then the man, the background story of his of Shiki's mom, man, I dude, it got I, dark, dude. Like yeah. I thought she got murdered or whatever, or she was like mm-hmm. she was like she was hunted down by by the two brothers because they wanted that golden silk, right? Because yeah. they, were, they were entranced by that folklore or folktale. Mm-hmm. No, it just oh, he just got so much darker. Yeah, it's about that golden web, but those different ways of the method obtaining of obtaining the golden right? web exactly is you know. And I had to do a double take to figure out exactly what was going on. I thought maybe he was experimenting on her, you know, maybe like cutting her open and then taking out some organs or whatever. Yeah. No, it was basically just, yep, you go in there and then I'll grab some other Komodo. <laughs> Every single night we'll do this. And she just gets like plowed, hoping to yep. create this off brand uh, mutant Komodo to produce a golden web. And man, it. Oh, that's rough. I can see why Shiki had such a breakdown. Uh, right. 
episode or I, two episodes. Ago. I know before it's just like, oh man, his PTSD is probably not like as serious as we think it to be. And it's just like a map truck just came by and just, you know, blindsides you. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. I feel like if they kept it this dark from the first, because the first episode was fairly dark too, like in a sense, yeah. like a lot more darker than how it's been for mm-hmm. the last few episodes. But yeah, this kind of returns it back to its roots. And I feel like this is kind of what I wanted from this show from the get go. Uh, so I'm really liking it, and I hope that they continue to extend it even more. Because I'm assuming with uh, like Akira and then even um, Kabane, I'm sure it'll be just as dark when it gets to their parents. Definitely, so, definitely. Uh, yeah. We'll just... um, no, I, I totally, you know, um, emphasize everything that you just kind of explained from this week's episode. And I think, you know, if anything, I, I definitely want to learn more about Nobimaru because, you know, he had his kind of moments in this episode as well of just showing up since he's still kind of working for Inari. But we don't know, you know, what his true intentions are at the end of the day and whatnot. Um, and I think exactly like you said, you know, now that we're getting kind of the depth of these characters that we've now gotten, you know, a, a pretty good overview of, of their personality types and everything. Um, it's definitely helping the show shine more other than kind of just the run of the week, like new enemy, new bad guy. So that's been really fantastic. Um, and I think if anything, um, I know they also kind of alluded to the pink haired girl that Shiki noticed was, you know, kind of like mad dogging him in the store when he was telling uh, Akira and Kabine about the folklore story. So, I'm assuming, you know, that's his younger sister then. That was like a byproduct of basically the uncle making the mom bang all these kimono beasts. But I don't know. Do you think differently or anything? Or No, I want to say that's probably the successful half, uh, mm-hmm. like half mutant kimono that he was trying to produce. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's his sister or something like that. But I want to know if maybe was she the one that was kind of like whispering out his name, or I wonder if maybe his mother is still alive. Yeah, because no, no, according, definitely... yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because according to that guy, his uncle Shiki's uncle was able mm-hmm. to actually produce it. So he never specified whether or not she was actually dead or not. Just the fact that he had a distance uh, Shiki away from his mother, and that's why he yeah. kept her hidden from him. Right. So uh, still I feel a lot like... of mystery. Yeah, I feel like For she's sure. still alive, but I don't think he's going to like what he sees when he finally sees her again. <laughs> no, definitely not. It's going to be some mutilated form of what used to be her mother if they, you know, decide to go that route. So um, we'll have to see. Uh, definitely got dark, which made it better. We just have to see how dark do they want to go. And kind of with, you know, the cliffhanger of now, Shiki at the end, basically getting his revenge against his uncle. And I wonder if he's going to go like, you know, brutal, painless death that he says he's going to do or if there's going to be you know some other route where he's like oh i forgive you or oh i'm just gonna let you go because you're you know a pathetic human at the end of the day i feel like he he'll probably kill him but there's i have this feeling that they're gonna cop out and keep him alive because you know he's still his uncle he did raise him right so um I don't think I don't... they've ever shown like a human being killed yet. Besides like right. the mosquito people sucking out, you know, like the organs from those workers, the previous episodes, but not just blatant yeah, but, murder of a but human. They're still, they're still alive. They weren't dead. They were yeah, still yeah, alive. Yeah, exactly. So oh. even more to it of like, there hasn't been a human, you know, character yet. That's just been kind of murked. Right. So I don't so. know. Odds are he'll probably be alive still. Like, I don't yeah. know if he's Sadly. That's what I'm thinking. Or either that pink haired girl is going to show up and say like, you know, oh, don't kill him. And then Shiki's going to be like, well, who the hell are you? And then maybe that's where we get, you know, this background of right. her. So, but yeah, solid, solid episode. It, it did all the things that I think it needed to do. And, uh, you know, it keeps uh, the weekly watchers uh, engaged and keep on going. So excited to see what they do as we close, get closer and closer to the end of the season. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, so yeah, that's it for Kimono GN. All right, so we're gonna move on to our next show. Uh, I guess we can do Hori Mia then. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, they are moving at a pretty fast pace. Uh, there's a lot of like, so, a lot there's like so many on. different like different plots going on in this one episode. Like it felt like there's just what like, I don't know. Um, like just a whole bunch of different manga chapters basically adapted in all one episode. They're like it was jumping all over the place. So I don't know. I, I, I was having trouble like keeping track. So if someone else wants to like to carry this, um, 
Oh, uh, we can have our new guests uh, lead the way, huh? <sighs> Man, my whole setup <laughs> is so scuffed right now. Like, it, oh, it no. just looks blurry oh, and not crazy. Not as bad as mine. Not as bad as I mine. I have internet issues. It's just not yeah. the day for the podcast, but hey, it's a, we yeah. work through these things. It's a great night. What crafty. is happening here? I'm, like, rushing to do my yep. makeup. What was even the point? So, like, anyways. But, <laughs> hurry, Mia. Um... <laughs> Horimiya was so cute. I awed it this whole episode all week. Or, um, sorry, like the whole episode. But basically, it focused a little bit more. Sorry, I'd have my notes up, but I've been rushing. But it focused more on like the two friends of Hori and Mia. Mm-hmm. Um, Toru and the other girl's name. I can't ever remember it. Uh, Yoshikawa um, is her name. Yoshikawa, thank you. Mm-hmm. So it seemed like the episode was setting it up um, to show that she might have a thing for Toru. And of course, we already know that Sakura does. And this episode focused on Sakura making cookies for him. And it was really cute. Um, but then, like, there, so, like the way that, like, it, Hori was clearly seeing that, like, her friend was, was like, suffering somehow. And I think we were supposed to think it's Toru. But I don't know if I really believe that. Like, what do you, what do you guys think? Because, I mean, she's been friends with him this whole time. And there's never been any, like, indication of that. Uh... I feel like she she doesn't really have a romantic interest in the guy. I think it's just the fact that uh, because he's feeling down, it's it's her pitying him in a sense. But now that someone else wants him and she knows it, she's afraid of losing him as well because, you know, Hori and Mia, they got their own thing going on. And Tori was the other buddy or friend in the group. So if, he, if she loses him, she's going to feel left out in a sense. So I feel like she's just kind of clinging on to him but not in a romantic interest sort of way. But I feel like yeah. the, the show is kind of directed as to where it is a romantic interest. And that's why she's so depressed. Mm-hmm. But uh, realistically, I think that's more what's happening here. Yeah, I, I could accept that explanation. I think that makes a lot more sense. Um, and then that, that was basically the focus of the first half of the episode. And then um, Mia was out doing something. He was away. I, I didn't quite catch for what, but he was... Family gathering. Yeah, family gathering, something like that. Um, and he was gone for five days, and Hori was losing her shit over it. She realized that she really, really misses him. She really wants him there, and that was cute. It felt a little bit awkward for pacing for me, but, I mean, it just fell off. But it was cute. Um, and then he came back, and they ran. They, it was like the end of a romance, of like a rom-com movie when the characters are, like, running to the airport or whatever. They're both running to see each other, and then they hug each other, and that was that. It was cute. It was a cute episode. That's all I have for it. <laughs> That's all you have. Uh, I was gonna I say we're, we're we're skipping over the very you know oh God, important yeah, piece right. of what the you, you know creator <laughs> intended us to understand. You like guys, the one I'm moment so... we're like, Woo, yeah, go, <laughs> go. Also, they, go also they had sex. <laughs> I mean, probably. Well, I was probably. like a different way to be a lot. Like That's so blood, but okay. They made so, love. Like, all right, they yeah. made love. Sweet, beautiful love. We think. <laughs> just, just very just high overhead. Over overhead. I just yeah, find I don't it, know. Go like, ahead. I, I just find it funny how you go from a horror movie to like mm. the dude like like chickening out, right? So he needed time mm. to like collect himself, and then she gets all flustered too because she thought she's pushing him away, and then because it's raining, it set up this per- this perfect atmosphere for this to even happen, right? And I was like. There's no way this is going to happen, right? There's no <laughs> way. So I was just like, I was just I like know. clinging on to this because there's no way, right? Oh, oh, and boom goes the dynamite. So Dude, like, I take some happened. serious offense to the fact that they were telling Hody that guys don't like girls who like scary movies and aren't scared of them. I take some <laughs> did you severe take that personally? offense to that. <laughs> yeah, I did. did you take I, that I, personally? I, I, and I took that personally. <laughs> yeah, I took it personally. <laughs> oh, God. I, um, I got what a load of bull. I love that meme, actually, by the way. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, th- I think it's fine I, because they're basically just talking about like people in general, and I feel yeah. like this is how gossip and how girls are the way they are, how guys yeah. are the way they are as well. So I feel like it's more like two of these, yeah, the normal expectations of what they expect of their relationship, and then you know, even Mia goes as far to kind of reiterate to Hori, like you know, yeah. I'm not interested in normal girls. Like I picked you because, you know, mm-hmm. you're you, you're unique. And then right. she, even Hori is kind of like, well, that's the same reason I picked Mia. Like when you look at him, he's just like mm-hmm. a really kind of aloof guy who's, you know, 
funny and she mentions kind of like his body type and everything of how she loves you know even though he is kind of like this fragile individual like that's what makes him special to her mm-hmm. so that was cute for sure well, so they, plus it's like they're teenagers so it's like of course the expectation of romance is you know not the greatest yeah mm-hmm. so exactly i mean it even kind of ties back to yoshikawa who i think was trying to get like a fashion book or like whatever this whole episode of like trying to understand like what is you know the way that you should dress or act or whatever it may be Mm-hmm. so ties into it's those like when, when people shit on like when, when people shit on like cosmos cosmopolitan or x17 like, it's like <laughs> like the dumb like quizzes like they were they were they, they, they what yep. they what, gr- what girls and guys want or whatever it's basically that exactly <laughs> but do you guys feel like it's going too fast though i mean it's only episode what six seven and they've already kind of cemented their relationship together <laughs> kind of like yeah i, don't know. I mean yeah but to, I mean, way, I, I don't. Like... I don't. Sorry, David. I, I don't watch this show, but I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing, though. I mean, I, I actually like a lot of like. There's another like one of my favorite anime, um, that's actually like uh, you know, romantic comedy was. I mean, they were like in the manga, they end up like you know getting together, but like a good chunk of it is them as a as a couple, and I thought that was actually mm-hmm. like I was more interested in almost that than than uh you know the whole the whole tease of getting you know where it's like well, just get together. Was, we know what's gonna happen. Well, who's just he's. Uh, sorry, I may have been completely off topic. And He's wrong, saying but... though, is it too fast? Because like, I mean, I think it's, it's like, kind of a little they... bit. Yeah, go ahead, Taylor. Well, I was just gonna say, I agree. I think it's too fast, but not really. Like, it's not in a bad way. I mean, for me, I guess I do enjoy like the lead up to it more than like them as a couple because I've never really been like been into romance just for romance. So like the mm-hmm. lead up to it is a little bit more interesting. But honestly I just feel like I like both of the characters so much. Like I would have just enjoyed seeing more of that happening. Whereas <laughs> pretty much every other romance anime I've watched I I could have cared less. So Yeah. I feel like we're just missing I, out I feel on like that. I'm... I just I don't know. I I don't like the build up too <laughs> because I'm so traumatized <laughs> by these romance that just drag it out. That like I'm so I'm so done with like lead ups. I just want I just want like more couples and like actually going through like yeah. issues of the relationship. So <laughs> it'll be interesting to see honestly if they continue to try to do like a mix of relationships now, now that they have kind of introduced this love triangle between Toru, Sakura, and Yoshikawa. So I'm hoping they keep the balance well because i think for all of us like our main focus as you know the show is titled should be hori and mia Mm -hmm. but i wonder you know if they're speeding up that relationship because they also want to give time to Mm -hmm. the other characters at the end of the day so i think this is a really good example of a show that if you like it you really should go read the manga like you'll get more of what you're looking for i personally plan to read the manga after that's what i forgot damn it yeah that's what i forgot the anime news it's ending next month Oh, after what ten years? So whoa, that's ten insane. Years. I didn't know it was running for that long. Got a lot that's, to read, guys. That's why it's so popular. <laughs> it, it, that's why like it like it always ranks it's high among the sites because it's been running for so long. Yeah. Oh boy, that's wild. So <laughs> there's there has to be a ton of interactions that we're just kind of getting glossed over on yeah. as anime only. So I'm sure they've probably skipped over a bunch of stuff. I don't say. I just want to say too, real quick. Like I'm like I'm losing like sense of like time in this show. Like I have no idea like, what season it is or like or how much time has passed since like they became third years. Dude, so you guys have to set like, that I don't know. Just watch like the falling leaves for fall, the snow for winter. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> it's like... when I think about it. Like even remember from last week's episode when we got introduced to the first year girl. Like there's just these characters that now it's like okay. how are they gonna bring them back? Like that was something like literally just now. I was like. Oh yeah, they did introduce this other new character for for us anime onlys last week. It's like, mm-hmm. man, they're moving quick. They're jumping from you know different characters now. It's like, how is how is this gonna work? But I mean, still I feel, doing well. So I feel like if they've been gone on for the past ten years, there has to be a fallout between Hor and Mia, and then eventually they get back together. Oh god. Yeah, it has to be so I, I feel like it has to. There has to be I more hope not action, because right? that's, more no, I really I really hope not because that's like what this other manga art author, the one who did does like Suzuka and a town where you're from, that's like all his romance stuff. It's always like the two date and then the guy they break up, the guy dates another girl, and then they get back together in the end. That's like all his romance mangas. So I'm yeah. really hoping it's not gonna follow that formula. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but that's what happens when you move too fast though, right? Because it's either setting up a death leg. Or 
there's something that's gonna happen that causes a giant fallout. I hope this it could be better. That's just, let's just say that. Like, please be the one that, that goes above that. Yeah, that I formula. think there's like better and there's good and bad ways of handling that. Um, I just don't think I've seen very many good examples of it being handled well. Uh, but I have hopes for this show. I mean, I really feel like it's met all of my well, actually, it's exceeded all of my expectations. So I, I have good high hopes for it. If it went yeah. to go down that route. <laughs> I'm will tell. We, we I'm shall will see. Tell. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I think it's gonna be it for Horimia. Um and then we're gonna move on to our next show. Uh, I guess we'll talk about uh B stars. So take it away, guys. Oh, oh go ahead, Taylor. This oh is- my god, this episode was so freaking amazing. Like, I swear to god, there's only ever been one other episode of anime that had me like sitting on the edge of my seat like this one did, and that was that episode of Attack on Titan with the decision. Everybody who's seen Attack on Titan knows what I'm talking about, I think. But like, I haven't felt this way from anything in a long time. Like the episode opened up with one of this one of the herbivores from uh Drama Club just interacting with one of the carnivores i don't know what they were doing but they were just like practicing or rehearsing or something and the carnivore lost track of his own strength and ripped the herbivore's arm right off and it was horrifying <laughs> like it came out of nowhere i gasped <laughs> i think i screamed a little bit it was shocking and it was traumatizing because like the thing that i love about b stars is that even though it's all like CGI and even though they're all animals like they feel so much more real to me as characters than almost anything else like I could like feel that character's pain and it's not even a character that I really paid any attention to this entire show like this was not an important character that it happened to but it still just felt shocking so anyways um the herbivore was okay with only Lugosi taking him to the nurse's office none of the other carnivores so Lugosi took him, and the bear came along, which Ku and I had hypothesized last week was the one who ate Tem. And Lugosi, like the badass that he is, right outside in the nurse's office, just confronts him right there. And he's like, yeah, you're the one that ate Tem, aren't you? And they have this super intense moment. And then um, the new character, the 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 alpaca, came in. What's it? Do you know his name, Ku? Nope. No idea. <laughs> The one that's voiced by Kaji Yuki. He's such a little ham. I love him. He walks in, just acts cool as a cucumber, knows everything that they're talking about. And he's just like, by the way, I know. Let's go chat and resolve this in a nice manner. Hmm. They go and chat and he says he won't tell. And he to just enjoy his sleepless nights. And it's kind of left like on a back burner at that point. Hmm. Um, Like what's going to happen with the bear. And then you go into flashbacks about how uh, the whole devouring happened between the bear and uh, Tem. And I don't even know what to think about it. Like, basically, they were becoming they were becoming really good friends. You find out that the bear. Um, I was a little bit confused about this. It sounds like all bears of a certain size, like once they're really big, have to take uh, uh, like muscle suppressants that like atrophy or muscles. So he'd been taking those. It made him basically feel like not like himself. He became uh-huh. friends with Tem, um, and then he started feeling like Tem recognized him for who he was. Uh, he stopped taking the medication. And things went badly very quickly. I think the same day they went bad very quickly and he ate Tem. And I'm not 100% sure where he was mentally when that happened because like he just told Tem that he'd gone off the medicine and Tem ran away. But then like there was that scene where Tem was talking to him about how like they'll be best friends. And I wasn't sure if that was in the bear's head, like him just making that up in his head or if that actually happened that way. No, I feel like that was in his head. Basically, it was in his head, right? Like he was a ma- that's what he wanted to hear. Right when he yeah. when he confronted Tim, I don't think, and Tim was like, you know, like we're I'm scared, you know, like we can't be friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he started slowly saying, you know, I'm gonna accept you as you are because we're best friends. I think that point was when he started eating Tim, and that's like was all a hallucination. Yeah, he, yeah, because he hallucinated Tim hugging him, and then when he came back to, he'd eaten him. I don't think he even remembers what happened. He just remembers no. like coming back to his senses, and there was like blood mm-hmm. all over his face and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. oh man, but Bear's got it rough. <laughs> in this in this uh, universe, like holy shit, I I can't even because he looks so so cuddly and and mm-hmm. innocent, you know, like he wouldn't harm a fly. And then mm-hmm. when he trans when he transform or releases his like his his beast powers or whatever. 
he is massively huge. His face is mm-hmm. completely different. Like instead of getting like the dotted eyes, to, like you can actually get like his his cornea. You can see all his details, and whatnot. Like his his facial expression just changes completely. Mm-hmm. And it, it's kind of insane, like how they're allowed to kind of be in the same school as others. Yeah. Even with like strength suppressants, I, I find it to be really odd that they're letting him stay like at the school as well. Well, I mean, like they they even they even brought that up in the episode a little bit that it sounds like all of the other schools are starting to eat, have like completely separated um, herbivores and carnivores. Like they wanted to shut down the drama club and stuff too, so that did get brought up. And other students were talking about how like really Cherryton or Cherry Hill or whatever the name of the school is is actually a little bit behind the other schools in doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he's huge. He definitely looked super intimidating. Oh man, like I seriously thought that him and uh, Legosi was gonna duke it out, and I was like, "Oh man, mm-hmm. Legosi is so fucked." <laughs> I know, right? I've never thought Legosi looked so tiny and vulnerable before. You know, like, like the bear wasn't even in his full form yet, and he was mm-hmm. about to like uh, crush the the ceiling because he was just mm-hmm. so tall and so huge. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the alpaca just like I may <laughs> I may hate the character, but he is so like nonchalant, just walks along mm-hmm. and. Like he he calms the situation down. He gets the guy like under control in a sense, you know, like making him have chills or nightmares. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna tell you, am I not? Like, I hope you lose sleep over it. And you know, indeed he does. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that might just be due to the drugs, right? And yeah, like this guy is really he's really smooth. And I really think if Lugosi wasn't there, he would probably be the next candidate for B Star just because of how good he was, right? If, and, if Lugosi wasn't there, you think Lugosi is a candidate for B Star? Right, because I think Lugosi would be the ideal uh, candidate for B-Star, right? Because you want to have immersion between carnivores and herbivores. And, you know, Lugosi has that. And he's about to, he basically solved the mystery. So he is technically the next B-Star, right? Um, but it depends on how the al- alpaca plays it. Because if he comes out and says, hey, I discovered who the murderer was. Um, and then he's going to be the next B-Star, right? So yeah. I'm sure he's not as innocent or like a good guy as he's playing it out to be. I'm sure he has some kind of hidden agenda behind this. Yeah, I think he's, I don't think he's, I don't think he's bad. Uh, I think he's good, but I definitely think he has his own agenda. Um, hmm. I think, I, I can't picture Lugosi being the B-Star. I, I'm still confused by like what the definition of B-Star is. Like when the show first opened, I was like, oh, it's like your number one drama person of the school. You know what I mean? Like the... Mm-hmm entertainer somebody who does all the plays and stuff like that but clearly obviously it's more than that so i mean i guess taking that into consideration i could kind of see lugosi doing it but i feel i do feel like if um if kajuki's character turn the alpaca turns out to be like a good person i still think it would be him i don't even think lugosi wants that role well i don't know maybe he does ignore that entire rant i really don't know <laughs> um I don't think he wants the fame, he, but what he wants, his ideals, fits that of what a B-star is, right? Yeah, uh, it does. You're right. I, I believe a B-star is just the ideal candidate to bridge the the gap between herbivores and carnivores. So mm-hmm. uh, that's I think that's what it is. And like I said, I think he would be the best candidate to fit that role. But again, I don't think he's in it for the fame. He just wants to be a Haru and protect all of his herbivore friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't think he'll even go for it if, if he was chosen. Uh, but yeah, uh, that that was pretty much the whole episode. It was pretty crazy, and I just thought it was funny too how the the thing that was going to help out with um, like the side effects of the drugs was honey. Like this dude has a stack, like a refrigerator just stacked with honey, and it just reminded me of like Pooh Bear. Yeah, right? I know. Right? <laughs> And I was like, man, maybe this is why Winnie the Pooh always wanted honey, right? Because if Winnie the Pooh don't get his honey, he's about to go berserk and kill Christopher <laughs> Robbins, you know? Like that's that's the thing that was going through my head, right? Like, what if Pooh Bear was like a was a killer, but with all the honey that he gets, like it keeps him calm and cuddly and like kind of just nonchalant, right? I'm just picturing Winnie the Pooh killing stuff. like one of his friends and having blood all over his mouth, just like Riz, and that like when it showed him eating Tem, like that was so graphic and horrible. Right. <laughs> Can you, know? you imagine that with Pooh? What uh, was Tem? What 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 creature was he? Or what not creature? But what like a sheep? Well. Oh, was he really? Yeah. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah. Sheep. Yeah, they uh they got it rough here. Very rough. <laughs> yeah. It was a great episode. Wow. I was just freaking out the whole time. I just watched it, so I'm just coming in hot. <laughs> oh yeah. But uh yeah, no, I 
the next couple episodes going to be pretty crazy. Uh, not sure how it's going to turn out, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to come to a close though with the devouring happening or not. So agreed. All right, uh, yeah. that's it for B stars. All right. Um, so yeah, so we'll move on to our next show. Uh, probably just do um, just do Atmos Fire So what, real quick. You guys want to start on that? Oh, okay. Oh, so man, like with this with this episode, it it kind of throws you in the loop as to like what's going on. Um, yeah. Because with the with the start of the episode, you you get kind of an introduction as to like what skills are and how they kind of corrupt a person or that skills mm-hmm. just bad in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the teacher is going up to all the other students saying, Hey, you know, like don't level up your skills. It's really bad. You know, just believe me, just trust me. And it looks like uh, that one guy, uh, Hugo or whatever, the one that wants yep. to be an emperor. Uh, he, he's been grinding nonstop. He's kind of been doing what uh, Kumoko has been doing, just loving up his skills and trying to be as strong as he can. Uh, it looks like that's what corrupted him, and it looks like the teacher was actually able to, like, become like just become like administrator or whatever, and yep. take away all his abilities. So I don't know if she had something to do with all this, or like, like maybe this is why like all the kids are there or whatnot. But Kumiko brought it up herself too, right? Like, if if there's someone that's kind of controlling everything, like, does she like what is she doing? How is she supposed to react? You know, if she's just a character in this game or this universe and someone's controlling her, you know, like, what what do I do, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so we're trying to, I guess, maybe you can kind of break the fourth wall in a sense, but Kumiko is just going to continue doing her thing, but she's just going to be more cautious about how she approaches it now. And uh, it looks like we're diving more deeper into, like, the darker side of the lore, I guess, so... No, definitely. And I, I think, like you said, the the interesting part that really stood out for me was the focus on, you know, these administrators and kind of Kumiko's realization of there being this larger entity at play of kind of this world that they've been isekai'd into. Um, and then furthermore, you know, the elf teacher obviously knowing a lot more about this world. So um, she even, I think, had said in the beginning when they were trying to confirm like how many of the isekai students they had already found like she had already known like okay you know there were 26 or 27 students you know 14 we were able to acquire or you know gather together relatively quickly in the form of this magic school or whatever um and then she furthermore knew you know which particular individuals were potentially non-human isekai students um and she was kind of like skirting away from like what exactly you know that main difference had to do with anything and then just you know how you said ku um the attaining of these skills is something that shouldn't be taken lightly and it's really funny for you know us as the viewer to see where the, up to this whole point kumiko's just been acquiring skills like pieces of candy like ooh, i can do this oh i can do this now like, oh that's badass let me get this skill and then just how this entire episode was you know her physical body and then the like intelligent body persona like them back and forth just talking about like oh what if we use this skill with that skill and just like praising one another and just further you know soaking up these skill sets so Mm -hmm. it's definitely um intriguing like you said of like okay now we're starting to peel things back in terms of what's the bigger scene at play that you know we really haven't gotten much insight into honestly i would say this episode so Mm -hmm. i think it's definitely going to be something uh interesting to see for sure as we move forward yeah and it, like i said it's really surprising you know usually when you're watching isekai you don't really expect much from it but man like these past couple episodes it the, the story is a lot deeper than than it appears so that's what really threw me off yeah what uh what did you think of the mysterious like demon woman or whatever that showed up in hugo's room at the school at the end how do you uh, think no, do, that's, do you think that's, he's that's, an isekai no. person as well or I think that's Kumiko. Like, it has to be, right? You think so? <laughs> I mean, it has to be. Like, who, hmm. else, who else could we possibly think of? Yeah. And I guess it would tie into the theory of just, like, Kumiko's eventual evolution into, like, the demon lord of this world. Right. So. Because she kind of seems, uh, maybe it's just the VA, but the VA sounds very similar to Kumiko when she was in, like, she was a spidely in a sense. Oh, okay. Then, I didn't pick uh, up on that. And then the the voice too of um, the demon lord from the last week's episode when mm-hmm. uh, Julius was killing the 
the nightmare spider or whatever mm-hmm. uh, it, it sounded fairly uh, similar to and i think the uh the character design was somewhat similar so i think this is just just one of her like body doubles in a sense um ah, because if you remember okay. in the opening like there's like four spiderlings or whatever so i'm sure mm-hmm. once the skill levels up she can divide herself up even more even further to like the magic focus and all the other stuff right got it got it so yeah, no I, I think like you said this is definitely driving away from the normal isekai route but it's it's doing it all in, in the best way to finally have a show that's not just like oh great another isekai to try and see what's unique about it so right so yeah, yeah. i don't know it's, it's got a lot more interesting it's a little bit more darker than what i thought it would be but uh yeah no, I, I guess we'll see i'm really curious as to who the administrator is or what's going on but right yeah i feel like i feel like the teacher knows more than she's letting out like she was probably oh, she's sure. probably like one of the the key characters that got the class involved in this in this world so yeah so fingers crossed and then i think this show we have 24 episodes of so definitely have a lot of leeway in terms of further building out the world and you know going down these different um focus paths that we now kind of have in front of us so right excited for it yeah yeah somehow some odd reason (laughs) (laughs) right against all odds especially with the the spider cg that i know turned you know some people away and the dragon cg and everything but showing that okay there's potentially some some real depth to the story here it's not all just cutesy fun in games when it boils yeah. down to it yeah not all cg is bad just <laughs> give it a definitely. chance definitely definitely right. uh well you know i think that's it for this week um yeah something crazy is about to happen but yeah we don't know what so all right um so i guess that'll be it for the i'm the spire so what um you guys want to move on to wonder egg priority Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> has, has the show has the show become wonderful yet? Or is there uh, a wonder uh, egg? So I was, that... t- I was talking to Taylor. I couldn't remember what happened, uh, and I still oh. can't remember. Oh my god! It was <laughs> a happy ending, kind of. Ish. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude. Okay, that's right. Kind of like okay. I, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I was so scared when 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 she like approached the teacher, and I, I was like, oh god, don't you dare say it. Don't you say it. And then, but then she said, like, I'm gonna go back to school. I was like, oh. Thank God, I thought I, would, I thought it was gonna get weird really quick. <laughs> so, oh, you thought she was gonna like confess? Oh, like, I thought she was gonna confess. I'm like, we're gonna make, we're gonna go down the wrong path here. We're gonna make it very weird and awkward now. Yeah, it's like you can't oh. bang my mom. You gotta, you gotta you know. go for me. Like, okay. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say that given age ranges here and stuff. I'm, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh but, yeah. God. <laughs> Dodge the oh, bullet man, there. That ending scene of her running to the school was animated so well like it was beautiful yeah um but no i i i honestly felt like this episode really harped in on just discomfort and like cringe in terms of i and kind of the situation that she's now in like obviously i think you know ku and, and some of the others here on the podcast had kind of alluded to you know there being that relationship between you know i's mom and the homeroom teacher and then you know even furthermore something even more dare i say sinister at play with this homeroom teacher so um it's definitely going to be interesting to see like is he you know really in it for i and these younger girls at the end of the day and he's just using otto's mom as like a separate you know kind of cover of sorts but what what do you guys think i think it's up in the air i think that i is a very young unconfident confused teenage girl and whatever she's feeling towards him right now does not legitimize or delegitimize him as like a good or bad character. Like right. I, I can't even get a good yeah. grasp on exactly how she's feeling, but honestly, whatever she's feeling doesn't matter. He still creeps me out. I, I still don't really. <laughs> yeah. I still well, don't really trust him. I mean, like, uh, yeah. What is but he's else? so hot though. How he's not. He's got he's so, he has so <laughs> eyes and like the worst like <laughs> crappy short bangs I've ever seen. Like, yeah, I don't so get what everybody sees thing. in this guy. Well, I, I, it I seems like he's the teacher of the school that everybody wants to get with. So. I mean, there's two paths. It's like it's one of it's either like they were purposely making him like really like creepy looking just because of like a villain later on, or they were just trying to bait yeah. us into believing that exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think they basically I think they pulled just about all of us in. We're like, think this guy's evil. He did something. He oh, killed yeah. the previous okay, here, friend. Here's here's the thing though. Like, 
I've had a teacher I was really close to in high school, very close to. He was like my mentor and I like great teacher, right? But like it would I would never hug him. Like I would never go to him with my personal problems. It I know that can happen and it doesn't always have to be weird, but I think it's really it's just very unlikely a lot of times. And then like even the teacher that we had in my high school who every girl liked and had a huge crush on, he knew that and he made sure to keep extra diff like distance you know what i mean so i just still feel like they could have been pr trying to put him in that light but something feels off mm -hmm. well, something's <laughs> off all right yeah it's <laughs> definitely i just i i couldn't get over how dirty uh i's mom did her when she was cooking her like the special breakfast yeah. and i was kind of like yo what's uh what's up with this and she's like oh you know can't i just do nice things and then you know, cook her her favorite meal while they're all sitting there awkwardly at the table, and she's just like, "Uh, I right, we have uh, something to tell you," and they do like you know the very direct focus of like eyes reflection in the uh, container with like the egg or whatever that kind of like showed her all distorted, and it's just like, "Yeah, we want to become official," and I was just like, "What? What? You want to you want to do what now?" Like, because <clears throat> uh, he's younger than her, right? Uh, not, I, I mean, not, not saying it's a bad thing. Yeah, I, I, was just I, yeah, I yeah. would assume so. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I, it's, it's, up in here. it's it's tough yeah, to tell with animation when you close. don't have numbers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and then the other main focus away from you know I and kind of the whole wrench and everything with the teacher now seeing his mom. Um, was how the gang all got new familiar partners or whatever oh, in the right. form of these these pendants. And the, I don't know if you guys, but when I immediately saw those pendants, I was immediately thinking uh, Madoka Magica with kind of like how they have their similar like egg pendants that give them more abilities or powers and stuff. And I was like, oh man, this is going to be really dark. But then it ended up not being as dark as I thought. <laughs> they were just like little, little, little cute animals and stuff and how I got a chameleon that she... Um, you know, names Leon very ap appropriately. So, so what were all the? Okay, so there's a chameleon, there's a turtle. What were the other two? I'm blanking there's on it. The, the oh, snake. 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 Yeah. That's what was the best girl got? What was the fourth one then? I have no idea. Yeah, I was honestly trying to think about that, and Shoot. all I could remember okay. was the chameleon. Okay. Yeah, chameleon, turtle, snake, and then some other reptile, possibly. I feel like it was something I don't, I don't like. I don't know. I remember thinking, ew. I don't know. I feel like a frog is missing, and frog would make that group perfect, but it's probably not. It's probably something else. Yeah, I think it's something else. I forget. Yeah, I think it's something else, too. If anybody in chat knows, let us know. Um, <laughs> but it's... Uh, uh, but anyway, no, I thought the, the whole pendant thing was actually pretty cool. Um, well, at first, like, when they first hatched it, and, like, with the hand, and then it was just this little tiny, like, thing, I was like, the hell is this thing supposed to do? <laughs> and then they, and then when they actually go to, like, the dream world, and they're actually, like, a, like this gigantic beast thing where mm -hmm. I think he was wearing goggles. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely had some style. <laughs> yeah, so. the chameleon was pretty sick. So uh, it, it would be pretty cool to see the like the other ones too. Yeah, and so I think that's that's something good that I, I like to see with kind of the tasks that all of these girls are undertaking is like, you know, the game of sorts is evolving yeah. where those see me knots are now evolving to, I think they called them haters. Yeah. And so that was like the mm -hmm. whole reason for why they needed these new uh, familiar partners to kind of help them out and things. Um, I also really enjoyed the um, the main like enemy that I fought this week in this week's episode where, um, you know, they're in the bathroom stall and the girl who I is trying to protect basically is like alluding to like why she committed suicide and because, mm -hmm. you know, she could see all of these evil spirits, but nobody in the hospital or the area that she was at were believing her and. Uh, in the beginning, when eyes kind of like I can't see these spirits either, she gets you know absolutely rocked yeah. by this you Damn. know individual. And it was it was animated pretty well, if yeah. I recall, for when she was getting you know the absolute crap beaten out of her, and then through that connection of the one egg girl's um, like rosary or, or prayer beads or yeah. you know bracelet like that the she Buddha had, beads. yeah, she was able to finally see like this elephant girl looking creature and the creature immediately was shocked looking. once yeah, yeah i could see her and she's like wait you can see me and she's like oh yeah i can see you <laughs> and it just proceeds to beat the absolute shit you know out of that elephant monster so yeah i i thought there was a lot of good aspects from everything of you know progressing in terms of this you know mysterious game that they're continuing to involve themselves in and then more so the struggles outside of the game that these girls are going through and kind of how i had that moment where she was meeting with all of the girls uh in their usual like bench or whatever outside of the um location where the aliens are located 
um and they were all saying like uh oh here comes i and i was like you could immediately tell from her actions like something was bothering her and then when she gets there they're just like oh so what's up and you know she's kind of like skirting around the issue and then it eventually comes out and i think momo was obviously you know the only one that was kind of excited to hear that i and her okay. uncle <laughs> were dating because then she's like oh hi this will make us you know step cousins like think how great that'll be and i was just like yeah oh god like, yeah. fuck that <laughs> <laughs> so i just thought that was a great interaction as well between just the different perspectives of these four girls yeah so. oh yeah Dude, but the show's still it's like it's it feels like it's getting better every week like Definitely. it's like it's progressing like it's not like one of those where they're just like diving into like another like, like the dream world and like just fighting things like it's actually like advancing like the the dream worlds are actually seeing them as threats now and actually attacking them and not just like the 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 person they're supposed to save mm-hmm. like they're actually seeing them as like the main kind of like a uh, main threat and uh, target in these worlds yeah but anyway, so, yeah. It'll, it'll be interesting to see i mean because what we only have six more episodes now or maybe even five see, I five or remember. six yeah i don't have my list so up right now. it'll be interesting to see kind of from a pacing standpoint where are they now gonna like take things like do we foresee that the end of this season is going to be like each of the girls quote unquote having some type of closure with the individual they're trying to save <laughs> not or... a lot of time to do that yeah right there's still yeah. a bunch of like, the, the game be... itself what even is the game like right will there be more than one season of this show like there's no it's way. an anime original though so it's like anime anyway. original. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's hard to see even though it's it's clover work so they have all the money of anaplex <laughs> right. and sony but yeah they, they you know, basically we'll they basically would have either have to like wrap it up this season or they have to like continue for like another season after this yeah so um, that's the thing that worries me is like if you really want to give impact to each of these girls you know individual stories and with this these people that they're trying to save yeah it feels like you know you have to delegate like one episode per girl then mm-hmm. almost or else this is going to be very rushed yeah so still solid for now yeah. we'll see still how amazing we'll... still beautiful and then, oh, like yeah. david said money is not an issue by any <laughs> right. stretch of the imagination for them so i'm sony pay up yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I really hope that they can actually like uh end it strong as well not just uh hopefully it's Same. not terrible and rushed of course but anyway i'm good all right so i guess that'll be it for uh one rate priority, and then we're gonna jump to ReZero. So before before we start, uh, we'd like to do a shout out for. Um, uh, sorry, timing is everything. Uh, <laughs> Yehu Sa- Satori, thank you for the comment for for the the the, the piece as well. Nice. Yeah. Uh, shit, I don't have it written down. Do you remember what he um, wrote real quick? Or um, I can. God, he did- Go ahead. Um, I think because we were mentioning the uh, the royal selection last week, yeah, that was it. We were mentioning royal selection, and wondering why yeah. that was important, and he was just bringing up that like it was mentioned again in like part one somewhere. So, well, yeah, um, it, yeah, it was basically like uh, just reminding that the royal selection is important to Amelia because uh, Roswell promised to Amelia that that she can melt the ice on the Elier Forest, and if Amelia mm-hmm. wins the royal selection with the dragon blood, I don't really remember the dragon blood part though, sadly. Um, but I then he also it's the, because they're talking about it's like it's like the, the threat from the dragon the lore right I think it's like they have, I think that's like the big threat they have to face so I think that ties into royal selection but I forgot that part too gotcha yeah, yeah. we basically forgot a lot of stuff and he even uh, even so, uh, uh, Yahoo mentions that yeah it, it definitely helps to watch it again <laughs> so. well like I watched the director's cut and even there's still like some parts I'm forgetting so yeah. I mean, there's so much going on, and with, you know, how many shows we're all watching, I think for the viewers, like, thank you guys so much for keeping us all on top of our games. Oh, yeah. It's explicitly, like, yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Like, you know, you're giving us insight without spoiling, which we really appreciate. awesome. Thank you. We know that, like, that's actually a really difficult thing to kind of come by as well, considering it's the internet as well. And, uh, I mean, I think me and Taylor yeah. know that a lot with the tag on Titan <laughs> for our I'm, shows, so. I'm sure it'll happen at some point, but thank you guys for not doing it. But, yeah. yeah. Keep it up. Shout out to you guys. You the, You're the real MVP. <laughs> yes. So uh, this episode, uh, I don't know, just more a lot of focus on Roswell. It's like I really, don't, I still don't really care about this character. So I don't like feeling sympathy towards the guy at all. Whoa, whoa, know. whoa! This guy has suffered for four hundred years. Yeah, just this sipping first, for it for his, his first bitch. kiss. His first love. His waifu for so long. 
honestly, he failed to protect. It's like, it's kind of like uh, Juice and uh, Fortuna, right? Mm-hmm. Like, he was he was doing his best to protect her, but he failed and she died. Uh, however, for uh, for Subaru, that that hasn't happened to him yet, so I don't know if that were to be the case. Would Subaru kind of follow the same path and go towards like madness and? And like whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think about that, but you're you're totally right. Yeah. Right. So like I don't really blame the guy at all. And like I said, when it's I don't they didn't really specify the relationship that they had, but I'm assuming like that's when a kidna died. And mm-hmm. I don't know. It looks like we have a, a brand new witch or warlock here. So that's probably why uh, the, Yeah, the, the demon of melancholy. Melancholy. Yeah. But is yeah. He, like, like it's so weird that because they say witches, so I assume it has to be like just a witch but like yeah but like no it's a male i don't know like if he's is he like so is he is he equivalent then to a witch like he has the same powers or is he like like yeah. one of the uh apostles or yeah that's what i was gonna ask like, he, there's so many terms you have now of like the the archbishops the witches the counts the yeah. you know the dukes the <laughs> i'm hoping Dude, it doesn't you know so continue to, to convolute things like like because right um <laughs> last last time like cornelius whatever like he was he's supposed to be like well, Archbishop of Greed, but he's following right. Pandora, who's the Witch of Vanity. So, are they all in the same church, or, or what? Well, I don't like. I don't know. Like, Dude, it's so much stuff. Like, they're introducing so many more characters. Like, again, like the main kind of complaint, they're just they keep branching out more and more, uh, and it, without like actually wrapping anything I, up. And it's I just they're spraying that, too uh, much. The, mel- the melancholy guy was unnecessary this episode, just because like, <laughs> like we barely know about Cornelius from last time, and so. Yeah, I think with this episode, like with the the you know ongoing threat, even if they left it as vague and still had all of the events of Ryuzu and kind of her sacrificing herself to finish the barrier, like that would have been completely fine. Mm. But yeah, specifically with your point, Threat, and like they continue to introduce all these new plot lines, and week after week, we're kind of just like we want to focus on the plot lines we have. Like yeah. we want to close some of the plot lines. Like Correct. this is too many. Like, you know, I got to have my own separate word doc to keep this shit all straight. So. <laughs> that Reddit. And then also YouTube videos, basically everything. Man. It's wild. God. It's like, it's like the author became a fan of Oprah. It's like, you get a plot, you get a plot. Yeah, everybody right. gets a plot. Like we are getting plots nonstop and we're not closing any of them. We're just yeah. adding on more backstory to this. Oh, yeah. Obviously, the bigger picture is at play, and you know, it will hopefully all come together. But damn tough, man. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about this show. I, I don't. Like, it's it's getting tougher it's, for me to follow. I think in this episode, like, I mean, it was just lacking compared to the other flashbacks because yeah, it didn't have much of an impact. Like Amelia's backstory had so much impact to like the lore, whereas this one is just like more, just like more character for Roswell and I guess Beatrice and Yuzu, but like still not as good. So, yeah. Oh, I, I would. I, I would say it's. I would say it's as good, probably because its backstory is focused on, like the supporting cast, not the main cast, mm-hmm. right? But the it's bad it's, as, it's as important though. Like we get yeah. to see why Beatrice is the way she is. Roswell. We get to see why Roswell's the way he is. We get to see a new character. I mean, obviously, we don't want more characters, but no. we got another <laughs> warlock, right? That's of that's even stronger than the Kidna. So like. It's 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 getting pretty intense, but yeah, like to your point, this this plot is getting so convoluted. There's so many things you have to keep focus of that it's it's just overwhelming at this point. Yeah. Oh, one thing I did remember too is like they're also it's like saying um, making the sanctuary. So like, it was also part of how Ryuzu became the, the barrier right. for the sanctuary. But it's like they didn't, they still didn't really like explain much about what the what, what this the sanctuary, sanctuary is. Like, is, it supposed, <laughs> is it like supposed to just protect from like the outside world? Then like I guess like, these, <laughs> yeah, these it's, half- it's, humans, that's, like, that's like, what I took it as. Yeah, yeah it's like, just for like halflings, mixed creature, or, uh, people of mixed blood, right? This is yeah, be a safe yeah. place for them. They and don't have a place like, in the current right. world. Right, and it was like it was like 400 years ago, so I guess like it's been established for a long time in the present. So it's like, I I already forget like why are we trying to get rid of the sanctuary in the first place? So it's been it's up so here the, for this long. It's so the people can leave. I think it's it was it was part of the requirements for for uh for the people that's there like Garfield to let mm-hmm. the villagers leave. It's not like pretty much yeah. It's like just they're stuck. Yeah. They can't actually get out of the barrier. They're right. safe. They just can't go anywhere. Right. right. I guess yeah. But like I said, it's getting very convoluted. There's a lot of things you got to remember. I mean, instead of solving a like solving a case or like closing closing an arc, like you're just adding more and more 
uh, workload for Subaru mm-hmm. to kind of like clear yeah. out. So see again, so see for me, it's like the witches and like and the Satelia and all that plot around her, and like that's what I care about the most. So like a lot of things that are just outside of that, I really like am struggling to follow because like it's not to his interest. That's the main, the main yeah. lore. I mean, it's definitely yeah. nice to get, you know, characters' motivations kind of ironed out, especially for, you know, Roswell, I'd say, as we've kind of, you know, determined yeah. from this episode particularly. I think, for me, I really enjoyed the end of the episode, actually, where you have, you know, this ongoing face-off between Subaru Screw with Otto and them oh. against Roswell, and specifically Subaru saying, like, Roswell's biggest fixation on things is that he just thinks that everybody is weak, and that's why he has, you know limited faith in terms of like anything kind of disrupting his plan whereas subaru is the complete you know opposite or the yin to his yang where he Mm. really believes in the strength of people and more so the strength of amelia who roswell has labeled as this weak character so right that was something that i really enjoyed from this episode wait again again like so what was the whole point of him like sending the assassin then to the mansion again like like what's he trying (sighs) Yeah. Like, is it because he's uh, trying to like he's trying to aggravate <laughs> Subaru and like that's part yeah. of his plan? It, it, was, it, was, it was to get Subaru to pick a side, uh, and kind of mm-hmm. force him to face like that severity of his choices, right? Because Subaru wants to be able to do everything okay. and save everyone. Save everyone, yep. Right. And then uh Roz was like, You're being too greedy. You can only have one or the other. Do you choose to leave Amelia alone and then have her suffer her? Her issues or are you gonna go save your friends or let them die or... yeah and i think and that ties and directly and into like how roswell couldn't save echidna for whatever right. reason yeah i feel like yeah. i feel like with beatrice still being alive and echidna dying i feel like he had to sacrifice uh one of them either beatrice or echidna and then he chose to save uh, beatrice because of something echidna said or whatever and then she was left there as a decoy so roswell and beatrice can get away um, so I'm, I'm assuming he's going to put Subaru to the, he's trying to put Subaru to the same, uh, situation, but Subaru's, you know, being greedy and he's going to try to save everybody and have a happy ending. So I yeah. believe oh. that's what it is. Okay. There's yeah. A, I, then, a, oh, sorry, go ahead, David. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to tie it back to like, you know, everyone says, like, I tell you I killed all the witches. So then I guess this is part of like, part of the real, the real thing that happens, like maybe then like. They just died separate in separate occasions, and I guess if if the melancholy guy killed a cat now, then it's you know we're getting we're into the real truth instead of what people think yeah. is the truth. So yeah, it's possible. No, very valid. Um, but... I just have just a random thought. Like it's not like really it's not part of like the current story. It was more of like what was um I, I'm kind of backing like a lot of people online where basically the opening they had last episode was just hella spoilers. I don't remember anything from the opening though. I just remember the song, but it's like, what was the point of like throwing it in there and then just not having the opening this week again? <laughs> yeah, like, like why they could have just waited longer? Like, it's just I don't know why you just I throw like it in. We, I, that's why, I feel like the whole excuse about spoilers. I don't think it's the real reason. I think they really just try and get as much as they can airtime. Yeah, like it was just. I, you, I feel like trying to. Yeah, it was just weird. The openings are like a minute and thirty seconds long, so yeah, we yeah. need an yeah. extra minute and thirty seconds to kind of figure out get what, more lore and right. yeah. fill in the blanks i feel like there's probably some you know contractual obligation where you know the artists that made the song for this season as well they're just like hey we need Maybe. to get this out here sell you know some song yeah sell, yeah that's so. me too i checked yeah, sounds not, this, yeah the full version that, that'd be yeah. whack you know if you had an artist create a song for your series and then they never show it the entire time you're like oh <laughs> yeah. great it's i'm like, glad i did yeah. this collaboration with you it's like oh yeah by uh, the way okay. you can download the download the the soundtrack for the anime it'll be yeah, there and every, and every, <laughs> like, uh, we've never heard it <laughs> the light the light novels it's by it's by Kadokawa. so again the big like the big publishing company in japan that makes all the light novels which by the way is also the the, the company that's uh, sponsors trash taste so oh nice i guess yeah shout out Katakawa. so but but they they, <laughs> they, they <laughs> yes yeah, but they um yeah they they have all the big light novels they do like the basic reason why there's so much isekai is because they all their light novels are isekais now because they're oh, of course <laughs> of course yeah. Well, I suppose. Anyways, oh, they also own, they also bought from software a while ago. This is just random, but it's that's how big a company they are. They're a big media company. Gotcha. But back to three zero. Yes. Um, 
Well, I'm done with Razor. Yeah. <laughs> we we need we need answers. That's that's basically it. It's yes. time for the answer arc. Yeah. You know, in Higarashi sense. Yeah. Yes. No, no, no answers. Time to cut question. them branches off. God damn it. <laughs> Man, it just sounds like like the whole like mansion part of the fight of like Elsa or whatever. It's just gotta be like the final episode. The way that we're going, like I don't, I, I don't remember anything that's happening. Honestly, yeah, I think yeah, from like last week or two weeks before they showed. Um, Oh my god, I'm, what's the beast guy's name again? Garfield? Garfield. They show Garfield fighting the one assassin girl in the mansion, so it's like, Spoiler. why yeah. did you, they show us two weeks ago, like, as if that was the preview for this week, and then we're completely going back into, like, a flashback, <laughs> oh, you know, like, focus. It's like, no, I want to say that opening was there to let you know what you're going to get this season, and I think that mansion is all you're going to get. Like, they're going to make it. I... They're going to have that giant fight, and then once they yeah. save one, that's going to be it for the season. I still think I still buy Justin's explanation that they just spent money and yeah. Iris wants it to be shown. Yeah, I, I, I'll follow that one. That sounds right. I mean, and I suppose, <laughs> but got to uh, make them sales one way or another. Right. But I can I, see I can see both ways. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're not getting anywhere. <laughs> it's gonna be an eight season plus long show. Well, I hope, and I'm season... okay with that actually. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. Oh well, yeah. You know? I I I've been enjoying this show this whole time. So yeah. but um hopefully season three doesn't take four years. Actually well, because I felt like I heard uh season one, they actually adopted a lot of the light novels by then, so I hope that's mm. not why it took so long for season two to come out. Because then we were being a long uh... time for season three to come out. Yeah. Don't only yeah. problem. Even... Don't only they grab can just make it tell the the only crap I have with the show is that you don't get answers. And it's starting to piss me off a little bit because <laughs> we get no closure whatsoever. We're so. reaching, like, it's like because we're so, like, we're in so many episodes deep that, like, you got, like, pick up, pick it up. Like, like we're, we're way past, like, like, like you going to get that, like, uh, excuse, like, you know, first season. Like, we're in second season now, so you got, you got to pick it up. Yeah, we just got, to, I feel like so much happened in the first season as well. Like, we didn't to kind of our point we didn't get a whole lot of answers at the end of the day like if you really think about it it was still a First lot of, like, was many questions I, I just, but <laughs> it was really just like the feel of like the the loop but like season two like this season like or part, especially part two like they're saying like, you can't use that anymore subaru so yeah yeah we don't feel like the emotional impact of like like relooping like we used to do I mean, it still feels like we're on day one to uh, of season two <laughs> so that's also a thing in a sense yeah yeah it's agreed but... agreed so we uh, shall see. Any any All progress, right. guys? Any closure? All right, no no more of this shit. You're, no the wrong, more you're this watching the wrong show, sir. You're watching the wrong show. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> yep. Fuck this show. No, oh my god. I'm done. All right. I think. All right. With that, that's gonna be it for V Zero. <laughs> We're gonna move on to our next show. Uh, talk about Doctor Stone. Yeah. I'll just say, like, I got I got bamboozled. I thought I thought we were totally were gonna like use like the the uh the tank to bust through like prison we didn't use it at all so well i mean i, I didn't from, think it was the chrome. i mean i didn't think it was gonna happen just because like i mean they, they baited it because you know of course some somehow sukasa knew thought, exactly what was gonna come i thought he they were at least like just bring like have it ready and then like and then oh whoops like chrome's not here what were we gonna do type of thing but mm-hmm. they didn't happen at all so no, i'm Props actually chrome yeah. no he was this is all him. Yeah, I mean, this episode. I'm glad yeah. Chrome got his like own little kind of like arc, but it was just kind of like how it was done was kind of just, I don't know. It, it was very, uh, I mean, it was very Doctor Stone. So it, I mean, I yeah. can't really take it too I, serious. I think the thing that I'm starting to like, like you said, right, I shouldn't take it as serious, but like the background for a lot of Sukasa's gang is like so one dimensional <laughs> yep. and weak. You don't, you don't yeah. want the high school like police officer who like, oh, kills right. <laughs> criminals you, you, because you, it's you, easier you, than you, you know doing uh, a trial you, you, like. For, you trust a, a was it a, a high schooler with a gun, and use it right? on actual people? Dude, this show yeah, has t- awful villains. Like, yeah, Yo's backstory, like, I was just like, I ah, this is yeah. stupid. I, like, I actually like the guy though. Like, to be honest, you, seriously, he knows what he wants, and he's like, I mean, he'll, he follows I, his convictions to the end, right? <laughs> so I like that. True. I thought the whole like submarine like operator was a stretch. That was wrong. So. Yeah. No, no, no. The yeah. thing is still a stretch. Don't get me wrong. I mean, no, it, it, no, it's police officer yeah. way more of a stretch. Like. No, no, no. The police officer thing makes more sense. High school cop? I don't know. Yeah. A high school cop, like specialist? Like, come on. That, Bo- that, both of them. I, I don't know. Hey, man. 
They were in those accelerated programs, all right? The accelerated sonar technician <laughs> program of Japan and the accelerated cop program of Japan. They're doing big things out there. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I really like like it's like I I still I, I love this show but it's like their their villains are just not the strong point of the show at all. Um, this guy just can't I mean, do it. That's like that's like the, the show in tropes that I say that, that this show has problems with. So yes. that's why yeah. I always I I wait for the science because it is the best part. Mm-hmm. It's carrying yeah. it. So and I do agree. Like I, I much more enjoy when Senku and his gang have their moments. Of right. Like when Chrome was thinking like that... the, the sodium like how is it like hydrochlorine whatever like that was like that was the the pilot of the episode not the whole like i uh, i mean i guess it's pretty cool that, that he still like outran the traps or whatever and but yeah when, when he, i liked like, when he tricked uh yo with like the pneumonia where the he had like, yeah, berries <laughs> and plants and then just you know one tricked him with that and then did the ultimate move that chrome has in his arsenal the uh the infamous nutcracker God. on uh on yo hey so, that worked yeah, right. It got it got the job done. He got back to to Senku home base, and Senku gave him his praise of the ten billion points for yeah. you know remembering his science and everything. Yeah. Um, something well, that means Chrome talked about. Our oh, good idea. Yeah. I was say and Chrome too, like because they're just pissing him for like science as like a science user, and he still he basically like showed them in the end, like he got the yeah. last laugh. Right. Yeah. Where Yo was just like, "Oh, you're you know rubbing a bunch of sticks together. Like how scientifical <laughs> of you?" And it just like completely undermines him, but. No, that was that was great. Yeah. Um, but but the thing that I wanted to bring up, and you know, Sorrent, you and I were talking about this before the podcast tonight. Was who do you think dropped the uh, battery off for Chrome? I feel like it, it was a uh, that Archer guy who, who killed, U- U- killed yeah. I forgot his name. Who killed? Yeah, I think it's him. I think we basically all said the same thing. Uh, what about you, Koo? Because like, I mean, it has to be him. Okay, yeah. Right. Like the, the the shadow figure, it looks like him, and I think that's like. Like and then when they, especially when they ex- ex- like when Chrome thought it was like you like Yuji and Yuzuha like I think mm-hmm. that was basically a bait a red, a red herring. So, oh yeah. yeah, it's well the, the whole it's... thing that me and Justin talked about too is like you now how would uh, how would they know exactly what what it is like if it was Yuzuriha and, and uh, uh, with, I do. Uh, yeah tight yeah um, like how would they like know what that is because they have never seen it so it's like it almost feels like it would all it would like the only option is the Archer guy. Oh yeah, because he did he did. See the see Chrome use it yeah. when he was chasing yep. them. Okay. Yeah. And, it, and, and he detained Chrome. Yep. So you figure anything he had on him, he probably confiscated. Yeah, or yeah. Knew yeah. So yeah, it just, item it, was. Yeah. So that's just like you really wonder about his character. Like, like I guess if he doesn't agree with Sukasa, or if he's trying, maybe he's trying to get his own. He wants to get power too, kind of like because um, Yo, like he wants power basically, is and he wanted to be like, part of the four. Like he wanted to be. The, the four top people in in the empire and i guess maybe um like 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 how i'm um, was saying how like even like yes yeah, casa's empire like it's not a unified like system like it's just like people going along with it and so maybe uh ukyo is like seeing this as his opportunity to rise up well i mean yeah. i think a lot of people i think a lot of people are only going with it just because it, they believe that's like the only option it's yeah, either that or just that out in the middle of nowhere um, no, I think I think Gen just sees an opportunity for him to get something that he really misses from the modern days, and mm-hmm. he's gonna like switch over to the uh, the, the science books, uh, right? uh, because he's too, yeah, that's right. You well, gotta, too, but... like he's a guy who used to be on a submarine and he was a sonar specialist. Like maybe he wants like headphones, or maybe he wants something that you know like piqued his interest way back in the day, like why he became a sonar specialist. So mm. I'm thinking that's yeah. why he wants to swap over. So I guess I had that too. Yeah. Do you think then, like in terms of like Sukasa and his cronies, like anyone that isn't just defeated by Senku and his group, do you think they're gonna in some form or manner just end up joining Senku's gang? And then that's you know now just new characters. I don't know. That it feels forward. so like it feels like Sukasa so like he's so like con- convicted in his beliefs. Like it's so it feels so hard for him to switch like that. It'd be such a weird character. Right. Do you think we were the first character? So I have a hard time believing, but it is shown in, so it could happen. I still, so, yeah. I still think he's gonna die. Like Sukasa is gonna somehow, he's gonna flip oh, like yeah, at the yeah, last I don't possible think he's second. He's gonna move forward, but yeah. I guess it's like all the people underneath him that now we see are kind of just like flipping to Senku's side. I'm just more curious, like past this arc of the Stone War with Sukasa, like where is it going to go like, it's just like, it okay, look, yeah. anybody who's like a leftover he they're just going to join senku's group and then now they're going to find some 
I mean, greater, you know, yeah. objective or evil. But then again, it, it, it's like, um, not this show, like, like, it's all about, like, they've always been, like, you know, the compassion of mm -hmm. mankind, whatever. So, like, they don't, like, where again, like, they don't want to kill any you know, stone statues. So, I guess I yeah. find it hard to believe that, like, they kill off. It's got, even though I guess the has been killing people in the stone statue, so I don't know, but it's, well, it's like, it's hard to think, yeah, like that. Um, they switch. I don't know. It's like I, I feel like well, well, the whole thing like if uh, you know Senku kind of just keeps like modernizing everything, like he's gonna need like uh, like able bodies basically, and all that Sukasa has is just brute strength. So I could easily see like that kind of like uh, you know joining like a uh, Senku side at some point because the yeah, whole thing Senku is just destroys Sukasa and kind of the mentality well, and faith his subordinates have in him, and they're just like, all right, yeah, like well, you know, we'll switch well, over. Well, and I think a big part of it. Just, yeah, and a big part of it too is like you know once they actually see what Senku has, I mean this guy has like already like moving vehicles, he has he has ramen, he has a uh, uh, electricity, uh, mm -hmm. he has just like a bunch of stuff, and Sukasa is basically still living in caves, and it's yep. just like I mean it's I think just a lot of these people are basically gonna say like how they miss like the like the old world, especially the sonar guy. I mean like that's like that's just just like all technology, and it's uh and it's more of like I mean I'm just like assuming like he you know, he's already kind of has like his own ideas i mean he could easily you know just kind of like back, backstab sukasa could be like a future villain uh, or he basically could just back you know backstab and just realize like you know the senku's world's better and then just join them like there's still so many different options that this show can take um that just as long as like sukasa's not in the future like i'm okay with it <laughs> sukasa's such a terrible vision and then there's yo which is just another just awful villain <laughs> hey again he's not that bad Dude, he's All pretty right. bad <laughs> Just the story, the story about him, who he is, uh, that's a bit of a reach. Because, you know, he's, uh, yeah, because, you know, it's, I don't know. No, it's not his fault he wasn't corrupted by by money and the politics, you know? I, mean, he's like, very, he, I think he's pretty he, corrupted. He was pretty damn good with his job, right? You know? No. So. <laughs> that's a ter he's just terrible at his job. No, bad guy shot at him, bad guy running away, I shoot the bad guy, he did. Problem solved, you know? So. I mean, did we, did he get shot? <laughs> yeah. No, he got shot at. Uh, it, the it, guy it, who was chasing, yeah. like, one of the guys, he pulled out the gun. So, I don't oh. know if he got shot, but he pulled out the gun, I remember. It, it, like, it, uh, it just phases his face. I don't okay. remember that I at all. I don't remember that part. Where? Yeah. But anyway, cool. it's, it's whatever. I mean, it's still, like, I still love this show. Like, it's uh, it, it's just, like, the weak villains, but I can kind of, I, for, I can overlook it. Because it's... I just, that's why I'm just, I'm, I'm like, I don't, I'm not really looking forward to, like, the stone war like the war itself like i just want to get past it so we can get back to science i basically want this to be like uh, the, the slime show because like but it does it because it does it better <laughs> it oh, does i want more it the definitely world does it better yeah, oh, God. Uh, yeah. well Please. stone wars though i mean i, I think it's still no, gonna I mean, have like, a lot of science world building. i want him i want him to start like basically like like primitive sim city or yeah. sit primitive sim civilization sim civ yeah basically yeah. Yeah, which is but it's it's a lot more believable because when it's with the slime show, I mean, he just basically eats the stuff, spits it out, and it's done. Like, yeah. It's like all right, well, thanks for skipping every I single step. Going the hard work of like putting a science in. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, it's awesome. Um, oh my god, no, no, if it does that, I think it's just gonna ruin the show. Okay. But, but no, but Stone Wars though, like I mean, I, like the, I think I still think there's gonna be a bunch of science. Like I, I mean, obviously on Senku's side, it's not gonna be just like you know brute fight normal well, fighting. Besides well, besides what you guys like, want is the Magic School Bus version anime, right? Like anime version of the Magic School Bus, where it's something about science and like feel goods episode, like slice of life, nothing happens, like no conflict whatsoever. Just you know, let's 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 create this today. Let's invent that today. Yeah. Like there has to be some kind of story to, like some kind of like tension or like villain to push the story along. You know. Yeah, yeah, I so, agree. Well, besides, well, so, besides like the science, I'm also like, like I also want more of the exploration. Uh, exploration, like if they, too. if like there's more stuff in like Japan that maybe that'd be cool to check out. I don't know. Yeah, yeah but then if you do that, then what's the point of the show, right? Like it just becomes just well, science. I mean, they still have to find basically what they turned everything to like, stone. What, what caused everyone to fall? Yeah. So, which I still, I mean, I still think it's just, like someone tried to cure cancer or whatever. Then like someone, like. It just yeah. went wrong, whatever. I think everybody. I think it was somebody that basically just hated mankind. It's like, all right, redo, boom, hit the button, and then here we are. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like if it goes towards uh, reincarnated as a slime, like the route of that. And it's not, not like exactly. I was just trying to make an example. Maybe I'm using a bad example. So. Well, I mean, I, well, the, the one thing is like they're actually like, kind of like speed running through like the things that they make. Like they don't take that much time like going through it. They kind of just give us like the main kind of points to it. 
right. then they just make the stuff. When I feel like the slime show, like, dedicates an entire fucking episode of re- basically Rimuru eating things and then spitting it out and it's done. It's, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, is there anything else we want to touch up on? Yeah, I think, I don't think so. on? This is way better than the slime show. That's all I have to say. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, that so that'll, be, that'll be it for Dr. Stone this week. We're going to move on to Promised Neverland. I just want to say this, I'll, like, just, I don't know. It just feels like none of this, like, really matters after hearing everything that's happened in manga. So, like, I'm going to lean <laughs> on you, Justin, for a lot of this, but, like... Like, because they they try to make it like they try making this whole dilemma about like should we save the demons or not? But it's like I don't know. I just feel I feel so so much things has been like left out. Yeah. It's like am I really supposed to care that, that that they are going this dilemma when like we really missed out some so much character development? No, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. Like they covering things that are you know admittedly like main focuses of the source material, but there is no you know background to it there's no explanation as to like how do we come to these you know um conclusions and you know specifically with norman that's like the first thing we start off of of like hey norman you're back that's great what were you doing this whole time and it's just like oh yeah i was here at this lambda facility they were you know uh testing us with very like inhumane processes to kind of make us more like monster like and then all of a sudden norman's also like oh yeah i also you know while escaping and kind of you know, uh, <laughs> rallying these individuals. I also created this, you know, new drug out of nowhere to destroy all so, demons. That was so, I don't know, my God, like... It's just like, uh, like, you hate to see it because more and more I'm starting to realize like, I, they really are just trying to punch through, I think, to the ending with this season. Like, yeah, yeah the whole uh, thing... Oh, go ahead, Brian. I was just wondering about, like, the... Uh three new characters introduced later that were like with norman i guess yeah they called an emperor or king or leader or whatever right like, how how close are they in like respectable to like the manga like are they so the they from it or? no i wouldn't say fully spitting image they are you know characters that are under ray for that like kind of allegiance based on the events that norman. occur it, or Norman, sorry, thank you. Yeah. That occur um, under the Lambda or during the Lambda facility events. Um, and that fully gets explained in background in, in the manga further so. And, and you get to learn um, a lot of these characters, like what happened to them specifically. And they kind of touched on it with um, specifically the one girl who was eating like the big uh, piece of meat that was monster meat. Demon meat. Yeah, yeah. yeah the demon meat. Um, and kind of her crazy strength when she was standing on the coffee table and literally was just like cracking this table in like pure anger. Um, so those characters all do exist, but they definitely are just probably going to get glossed over and just like, yep, we follow Norman because Norman's, you know, all of a sudden this complete badass that is going to, you know, stick it to the monsters. Um, it, it, it is sad though. There's so much being left out and. It gives a bad look for all the characters, so, I think, from here uh, on out that are going to get I guess, introduced. Like, I guess, like, manga spoilers, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point, but it's like, so, this does happen in the manga, like, eventually, where, like, where Nor- Nor- Norman comes out and he reveals them he has a drug already for everyone. Um, so there's a drug, but it's it's done in a different manner. It's not oh. just all of a sudden Norman comes, he's like, hey, I have a drug. Okay. So even that's different. There, it's, it's more so that there's, uh, I guess, plot devices that are being shown in the anime that are, you know, canon to the manga, but the order of events and, the, and like, background behind it are definitely being heavily skimmed oh over. God. That just makes me depressed hearing you say all these things, man. Yeah. I mean, I wish I had, you know, different things to say, but... No, no, no. You're you're the messenger, so can't hate on yeah. that. So yeah. I'm, um, I'm still feverishly reading the manga right now, trying to catch up to basically where the anime is at right now. But mm-hmm. I have watched a couple of videos on YouTube, and they're just, like, about like the stuff that we're missing and and whatnot and there was one guy that was talking about how he is very excited because he thinks that the author is trying to open up the idea of like alternate dimensions or like a multiverse type of thing i have no idea because i don't know where the manga goes but he was he was like really excited about that thought like he thought that's what's going on Hmm. justin any thoughts (laughs) i mean i i (laughs) maybe i don't know i'm 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 in the mindset of like i've kind of forsaken this season already and maybe that's just me being like very brash um but no i I think that's something that people that want to you know give hope and have 
you know, some type of expectation from this author of doing things differently. Like, it could happen. I, I think I just enjoyed all of the events throughout the Promised Neverland manga that it, it it's just such a hard pill to swallow to see the drastic changes that they're taking. Um, but hey, you know, maybe I could be the one with egg on my face at the end of the day and like something could really drastically change that makes the anime exciting if they're going in a different route. Um, but like for you guys, you know, talking about like these new characters and kind of like how things are just all of a sudden, you know, like it just it feels like so out of left rushed. Field, like, like yeah. yeah, like like it just feels so convenient and like and like Sasha keeps saying, like his thing he hates the most, like no consequences. It's just it's just that feeling, like like it's just so yep. like just having like Norman show out nowhere. I mean, like we can we were, we can predict that he was we got you know eventually, but just like the build up they had in season one to, to this is just like just lost it, and then him coming up with the drug too. It's like now I just feel like we have this like like it feels like we have this this solution that like just came out of nowhere when like so it's like there's no none of the tension of the promise neverland it's like yep. there's not the tension of like you're gonna like get die or get eaten or get caught yeah so oh and i saw too how how like in the facility they learn how to kill demons too so that's how like the three people know how to kill demons it's like okay so now you don't have to worry about even fighting them like yeah and uh, man again it's like the the rationale for how they learn you know how to beat demons and all these other things is gone so much more in depth and in the arcs that they've skipped immediately like there's so much more interactions that happen between humans and demons where you're exactly learning like you know how do they get to this point so like i was gonna say like the one thing i i credit them for is like because i was gonna ask like wait what about like muchika and si like sonju like don't mm -hmm. how are they like living if they're not eating human brains and so and then they guess they, they went to that to this episode like they actually like we got questioned normal about that so that was like yep. that was a good thing so that's one thing i will credit them for they did that well like if anything so because i was, I was so they, they did i was gonna say that exact same thing here but but it's like i don't know it's like uh, i don't know i i don't like even though i don't read the manga it's like i really i really I'm on their side. Like I don't, I don't like this new direction that's going. Like it's just, like, and I really can't see a way that in the end it pay off. So yeah, it's fair. With what you've been given, that's completely fair. So we'll see. I think that's gonna be it for Promise Neverland. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have much focus on yeah on the show versus the season. So yeah, so so that's it for Promise Neverland. And now we're moving on to the end of the podcast. So I guess shout outs. Um, actually, I'll give a shout out to um, Bam Tier Tomozaki because I think I forgot who was watching. I think I think Ayush was watching it, and uh, oh, Ulysses was also watching. I don't I don't know if Ulysses watches this this uh, this main podcast, but they're both watching it. So shout out to Bam Tier. Actually caught up. So Ooh. it's it's a fun show, but has I, it got better since like the second episode or? Second, I, I think I, I like did it. too. I don't think it was ever bad. I just don't think it was like it's anything just, special. Like, just, yeah, trying yeah. to say it like it because he reminds him too much of himself. It hit too close to home. Yeah, yeah. pro gamer, sir. Oh, I don't know. It makes it worse too. Yeah, but bottom tier is actually not that bad of a show. I, I think it's, it's it's fun. It's fun. To, it's fun to watch. It's fun to see like the character, the main character grow because he's really learning and like he's really trying to make himself better and like he's. He's being social and making friends, which is it's still a good message to send to a lot of the otakus who watch these kind of shows. Mm -hmm. So, what are you saying, David? Are you directing that towards me? Not you. No, I'm saying yeah. in general, like you have us. Uh, <laughs> you, be <laughs> Hopefully, like <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm fine. Like, I, I can there's so many shows like where the main character is always like a lonely, antisocial guy yeah. who says like I don't need like friends, like whatever, like I'm. I mean, myself so it's, it's nice it's nice like seeing someone here like just acknowledge that like it's fun it's fun like being social and meeting new people so shout out to that i might try watching that after the season right now i can't do it too many shows <laughs> same understandable so so yeah any other shout outs you want to give uh oh so for quintuplets Oh man, I can see why maybe Tiz like why tizzle is on the nino train because man i'm starting to fall for her too uh, she's still kind of hmm, what's the word? What's the word I can use without offending Tizzle? 
She's not <laughs> my favorite character to start out with. She's very pushy, right? She's very pushy, but I like how forward she is, right? She's very blunt. She speaks her mind, kind of. But uh, yeah, yeah. This episode, mm, good, good art, good art. Okay. I'll have, to, I'll have to look it up. Link, mm. please, for. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really think so. I mean, there's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, like, only, here. only other one to. I would say is uh, Skate is finally having kind of some like internal conflict between the main characters, which I think is good rather than just the path that they've been continuing on. So I'll be interested to see how they decide to resolve that kind of uh, wrench that they've thrown in now. And of course, I haven't watched it this week yet. I know, we skipped it this week. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn it. And finally, something happens. Okay, well, well, we'll be caught for next week. Real quick, shout-outs once more uh, for um, oh, okay. for everybody that, who commented on like all of our like some video, like Rain Podcast, our uh, Cut Podcast. Ayush Sinna, thank you again for uh, for still sticking with us and um, enjoying our podcast. Sonic, Sonic Cam, thank you as well. Classy Ulysses, even though you're a part of the AOT, well, thank you there as well. Albert, yeah, thank boy. you, thank you for the for the comments uh, as well in the <laughs> Mushoku Tensei video, and also thank you for joining us in Twitch. Uh, it's awesome having your input or uh, you being a part of this. Code number twelve, Dark Sonic Spear, Summer Jazz, and Yehu uh, Yehu Sat- uh, Satoru for the Rezero video comments. Thank you again for. Uh, being a part of it and making this um, interactive, basically, interactive yeah. yeah, interactive, yeah. basically yeah. just like uh, reaching oh. out to you guys. If you have any like other questions for us, want to like know of anything more that we may have like possibly missed, uh, spoiler free, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, just uh, keep us up there. Yeah. All right, and also like yeah, sorry, Dar- uh, Darren, like that for technical difficulties. So hopefully yes. we'll be better next week. Yeah, sorry about that, Darren. Yeah. Oh yeah, also thank you guys yeah. for like the new follows as well. There was a few follows, and I. I did not shut those noises off, so you guys will probably hear this in the podcast. Oh. <laughs> so sorry right. about that. But other it's people, right. yeah, zero zero call out. Thank you for following Woodsman. Thank you for the follow as well. And Tizzle, Andy, I don't know how you weren't following me before, man. Thanks for the late follow. <laughs> <laughs> Way to call him out. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you for right. thank you for joining us on Twitch as well every week. <laughs> so. All right. So we're right in it for now. Thanks, guys, and thanks, panel, for joining me this week. Always have have last. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Got you.